Okay. Yes. People have this impression that I'm a very fulfilled woman. A classy lady living on top of her world. What is not just an impression, ma'am? It is the truth. It is the truth. You are a fulfilled woman by every standard. A lot of women out there are praying so hard to be like you. You are quite an inspiration. That's what you feel. The truth is, I'm a troubled woman. Troubled? Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. But how is that? How possible can that be? How can you say that you're a troubled woman? How? I've been looking around. Somehow I feel you're the one who could help me in this. Help you out with what, ma'am? Look, just tell me whatever it is, I will do it. God. Let me start by asking a personal question. Are you into any serious relationship right now? Well, I don't know why you would ask that, ma'am. But I will answer you because of the respect I have for you. I am not in any relationship presently. Although I have suitors, I've got suitors here and there. Although I haven't seen a committed one. Okay. What if I introduce you to a job that could possibly lead into a relationship? Would you do it? I trust you absolutely, ma'am. And I believe you have my interest at heart. So tell me whatever it is you want me to do, and I will do it. I knew, I knew that I can trust you. Oh, okay, ma'am. You said something about being troubled. Please, can you share it with me? It's all connected, my dear. I'll brief you the details later. But well, under normal circumstances, nothing stops me from coming to live in that house with you. Nothing. You know it yourself that I do not have any problem with you living with me. Well, I have a problem with that because you let me have peace. I put up this structure here so that I can just have peace. Son, you know you're lying. I am doing what every responsible mother should do. That's not true, Mom. You are doing what I don't want. You are stressing me out, Mother. I'm your son, not a child. I'm an adult. I'm a pilot who flies a commercial aircraft via different routes every week. Every week I fly international, Mom. I need to be in the best shape to do my job. We've talked about this over and over again. It's not the first time. Is you, Bob? We have plenty of time for this discussion. Hmm? Please go and get me something to eat. But did you come to this house because of food? Yeah, you know, how can we be good? Is there anything wrong for me to come to my son's house to eat? And when you Jordan here? Because you can't even eat.
as usual. The food is completely burnt. And there's nothing left for us to eat, right? My love, I'm sorry. It skipped my mind that I had something on fire. This is the height of it all! That it skipped your mind that you had something on the fire! What is wrong with you, Lara? What? I'm sorry. Do I need to remind you that this wasn't the first time you say you're sorry? 24 hours of the day you're busy pressing your front from morning to night without doing any other thing in this house. I'm sorry. It won't repeat again. I promise. You've said this several. But nothing good has come out of it. Okay, Jeremy. This was a mistake. An honest mistake. And it can happen to anyone. I have said I am sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Okay? Don't worry. Just relax. Okay? I'll fix you something else to eat. Okay, my love? Mm. Relax. I'll be back. Mm? <laughs> Lara wasn't like this when we were cutting. What is going on? Millie, why are you staring at me like you don't trust me? This is not about trust. This is about knowing the man I'm going out with. Breaking my heart with those words. I mean, how can you talk like that? You know, I love you from the depth of my heart. And when you talk like that, you break me down. Why are you not getting it? Why are you not getting the point? I was with my friends yesterday and they were making jest of me. Making jest of you based on what? They say your stock in trade is to date married women and feed fat on them. That's an insult on my personality now. That is an insult. I mean, how can your friends cast a passion on me and you didn't turn them down? You didn't do anything? What do you want me to say? When your secret calls and everything lay credence to what they are saying. She is not even aware that dating married women has become big business. Gerard, you're not saying anything. There is nothing to say. Millie, there is nothing to say. I mean, it, it hurts that you don't trust me. I don't have anything with other women, let alone married ones. I am not. Your friends are only jealous. You are enough for me. I love you from the depth of my heart. You see, your friends are just jealous, okay? Please, I love you and I'm not ready to leave you. Cross my heart. I love you. That's what I do. Oh, well, if you insist on eating something, I can get Paul to make you noodles. Are we not tired of eating noodles in this house? Why can't you get a woman to cook proper food for you? Why did I not see this coming? A woman, huh? <laughs> woman. All the time, every time you visit me. Woman, woman, woman. Well, I'm doing something about it very soon. You know, you see what I come up with. And I know that's exactly what you're going to say in return. Humphrey, getting married is for you and not for me. You getting married is becoming a long walk to freedom. And I don't like it. You agree now that the reason you're here is not because you're hungry and want to eat. Huh? You're here because you want to talk. I mean, to get married. Uh, Paul! All of the above. Are you not tired of staying alone? Paul! Make her something to eat. Ask her what she wants. Okay, master. Mommy. Mommy, 
would you like me to, to make for you? Um, Paul, it's fine. Um, you can go. Clearly, my mother is demanding what the bachelor clearly cannot have in his home, so it's fine. You, you can go. Oh, okay, sir. Well, sir, I can still prepare what she's saying. Just that she has to wait so I can go to the market and prepare it. No, no, no. no. I don't think she's hungry. You can go. Uh, That's exactly what I'm saying. Humphrey, at your age, you're still a proud bachelor. June 18, three weeks from now, you'll be 41 years. Eh? What can you? What is stopping you from getting married and raised children? Mom, can we change the topic? No. Let's deal with it now, once and for all. Ogini, because I'm paranoid right now. I want my grandchildren, and you must give them to me. Hmm. All right. I hear you. I'll do something about it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm ready to eat whatever you're going to offer. You're hungry now. You want to eat? Yes, I want to eat. <laughs> well, you know this whole thing sounds like tales by one of the pets. <laughs> Forgive me for laughing, but it, it sounds like fiction. Mm. Are you are you did you make this up or happen for you? How can I? No, because it beats my imagination. I I, I still do not believe and agree with you. Nonyene is Sydney, someone who was cooking would totally forget what she was cooking on the gas cooker and then, you know, sit out and start pressing her phone and then the food got burnt. I'm afraid. No. I, but I have never lied to you once. Honestly, she forgot. And the rice got so burnt that the whole house was just smelling. She was busy sitting out on this heat out <laughs> pressing her phone. I'm sorry, I'm stop sorry. laughing at me now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm not, funny, no, I'm sorry. It's just that the image is very vivid in my like I can almost picture a slave queen sitting down with her nails. Make up. Bless your heart. Stop. 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 Your house is in flames. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously speaking, look, you need to have a conversation with her. Have you tried that? Like call her to order. You know, tell her that what she's doing is not right. Of course. Of course, I, I have done that countless times. I have sat her down, talked to her, and advised her to, to you know, get into the wife that she is. Yeah, sure. But it's just that she, she's just turning from bad to worse every day. Ah. Not good, not yeah. good. I'm afraid you have more work to do. Bro, you need to talk to her. It's not an easy thing. You need to talk to her. It's a... <laughs> you need to talk to her. I'm sorry I'm laughing. I'm sorry, so, I'm sorry. No, honestly, I'm honestly. sorry. I'm so sorry. Now. Me, guy. Well, let me say what I want to say. I'm your friend, you came to me. Let me talk. Okay, I'm, I'm here. I'm just, listening to you. Go ahead. I'm just mm. saying. <laughs> I'm just Humphrey. saying that if Stop you don't laughing. talk to her. No, if you don't talk to her, one day you come out from work. Your house. Humphrey, please, you need to stop this. Please. You need to I stop this. No. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, as a follow-up to our last discussion, please sit. I have made up my mind to bring you into the deal. Well, ma'am, you know me very well. I'm a very reliable lady. Even those I've done businesses with will always attest to the fact that I am trustworthy. Mm. I like the sound of that. I'm aware you know my son. The pilot? Acknowledged by all as classy? Who doesn't know him? He's very popular, ma'am. How would you like to be the woman in his life? I don't know what you mean by that. But with the class he maintains, I am very sure he has a woman in his life, if not women. Let me bust it, Bubble. That's the problem I have with him. There is no woman in his life. 
I want you to be the woman in his life. Unbelievable. Well, I won't say no to you, ma'am. I will not. But the question begging for an answer is, how do we have it executed? That's not a problem. I will personally take you to his house, introduce you as a cook, and ask him to employ you. A cook? If I become the cook, then my place will be in the kitchen. How then do I get to be the main woman? Oh, come on, Ijoma. Don't disappoint me. Look at you. You are well endowed. God has endowed you. You have everything. You'll be employed as a cook. Then you activate the woman in you. He gets you pregnant. Leave the rest to me. <laughs> Mommy, you are naughty. Well, I think I can understand where you're headed. It's not something I cannot do. Hmm. Good. <laughs> Do you know the one that pinches? Yeah, listen, tell um, me. I don't want to talk like this time around. Honestly, not don't, don't laugh. I'm not laughing, I'm serious. Tell me. She said she won't get pregnant until she clocks 35 years. Why? What's happening at 35? She still sees herself as a model. She doesn't uh, want to do that shit. <laughs> I mean, she's still expecting some kind of endorsement <laughs> deals. <laughs> hey, you made a promise you're not going to laugh. I did. Hi! Jay, the wagon came Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, mm. hold on. She said, I need to understand. Well, you're dealing with so much, man. Lara is really, really dealing it's with not you. Easy. What? It's she not said easy. that to you. Honestly. No, are you have, serious? If I have to tell you what I'm going through in that house, Humphrey, we will not live here today. Okay, my question she is, if she, it's okay to be ambitious, you want to do the things you want to do, it's fine. She right. should have just waited till, you know, she's satisfied. You know, not get married, remain single. Mm. You know, you know, be a slave queen, you know, parade herself as a model, mm. you know. Want it both ways. Get the marriage, get the singlehood, and still pursue the, the, the endorsement. And how is that playing out now? Enough about me. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Yeah. You said your mother came out. My mother came early today. It was drama today. Mm -hmm. Ah, you should have been at mine. It was drama, you know. You know, typical mother, she, she came around and told me that, hey, I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. I have to get married. She wants grandchildren. You know, typical, you know. I have to clap for her. Why? No, let, let's face the facts here. All facts. You have a comfortable job. You're tall, you're handsome. You have everything going on well for you. So. Tell me, what are you still waiting for? Uh, I'm waiting for lockdown. It's almost time for lockdown. Let's go. It's not yet time for lockdown. No, let's, let's keep drinking. We're not having this conversation. I'm not going to deal with my mom and come here and have to deal with you again. I'm, I'm here to relax. I'm not here to be criticized. Okay? I'm your friend. I'll be the one to tell you the truth. What truth? Marriage is not by force. It's a necessity. But not by force. It's a necessity. You have to do it. Ah, Ugo Jij. If your mother did not get married, she won't give back to you. You know I don't have to get married to have children. I, this is the argument. Uh -huh. uh, marriage is not solely about procreation. That's why it's my mentality. Did I wake you up? Where are you coming from? Apologies, adult. Well, I'm just calling you to inform you that I found a very good cook. I will bring her over to your place tomorrow. Trust me, I don't delay when it has to do with your welfare. I'm bringing her over to your place tomorrow. Good night.
Bonobo, no. Alpha. Let me show you. Did you see the baby or guys mom came here with? Ha! I'm not the one that will be for them. Oh, oh. Oh, boy, eh. You see, the, you see this one, eh? This is the definition of made in heaven. Mm. See, all this is what is doing. They will bring gears for him. He will reject them. He keeps rejecting women. See, eh? This one is the final boss stop. He mm. can never say no. Oh, mm. Yes. I'm even praying for that. For him to reject her. <laughs> My guy, mm. that babe is machine. Jamma machine. Eh? I'm even craving for her already. Ha. You will not understand. I just pray that our guy will, will, <laughs> will free her for me. My only problem is that I don't know why I will not see beautiful girls like this whenever I'm in search of women. Yes, now. Who told you that one? Huh? You see them on daily basis. You even see the ones that are more beautiful than this one that came. But your problem is that Ujigaka. Understand? So you are just respecting yourself, Mother Major Woman Annie. That is why you don't uh, approach them. I know you very well. Yeah, Andy. Andy, hmm? is that supposed to be an insult or what? Which one is insult? What kind of insult is this? See, let me tell you, for the fact that we work here as domestic workers does not give you the right to insult me. Starting well. Eh? What is the meaning of that nonsense? Me, yeah, I don't like it, oh. I don't understand. Oh, I, am I even better than you? Yes. I won't give you a good See, let me tell you the truth. I am far, 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 far more better than you. Forget. You ain't the guy you say about you, but you Let me tell you the truth. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you have a bank account? I used to. You used to? Mm. You don't have bank account. You're here to say nonsense. Let me tell you, eh, I have bank account. In fact, savings account. And I have so many things inside that savings account. I've made enough savings. Understand? Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't be talk, 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 talking nonsense. You open your mouth and tell me you are better than me. No, I what do you have? You that will make two naira, you, you, you can buy two, uh, and, and carry two babes. You make five naira, you can carry five babes. You open your mouth and say you are better than me. Take, no, take five now. Five. I don't want to take five. No, let me d d d d d shake myself. Are you mad? See, let me tell you. Okay. Thank you for exposing yourself. Let me see the day I will come to you to lend me money and you say rubbish. Nonsense. No, keep wasting your money on women. Keep wasting it. I'll be saving my own. Tomorrow you will not come and tell me. Uh, uh, lend me money. Lend the book will be there. Okay. Hey, baby. Uh, you didn't tell me you were going out. <sighs> baby, an emergency just came up. But I'll be back before you go out, okay? Where exactly are you going? Um, there's this endorsement deal that Annie and I have been following up with a new company in town. They just called us by interview. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Very good news. Mm -hmm. That means... You're going with Annie? Yes. I wish you success. Oh, thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. I'll be back, okay? Alright. See ya. I love you, babe. I love you too. Your son really took after you in class. Everywhere is so classy as your house. Everything here can become yours if you play your card well. Oh, mommy, you should trust me already. Let's, I understand this game and I'm ready to play it very well. Perfectly. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Mom. Good morning, son. Uh, you're not having anything yet, what? Get them to. We're not here to have anything. This is Ijoma, the cook I told you about. She's going to start handling your cooking from now. 
Mom, I don't remember having this conversation with you. I never told you that I wanted someone to come cook for me in this house. We didn't talk about it. I don't need you to tell me for me to know that you need to start eating food prepared by a woman. Mom, can we please talk outside? I'm getting a message. We're uh, not done with this conversation. Why do you want us to go outside? Mom? My dear, make yourself comfortable, okay? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 it's not. Don't worry. It's not that I want to know. I can't it, okay? Just make yourself comfortable. Okay, Mom. I am comfortable already. What is that? Son, this is not the kind of training I gave to you. Why are you scaring the innocent girl with such an aggressive approach at our first meeting? Mom, I'm only going to say this once. That girl sitting there would not cook my food. She is no cook. How can you say a thing like that? Do you think I will bring someone who doesn't know how to cook and introduce to you as a cook? You think I will do a thing like that? Mom, did you even look at her? Did you take a proper look at her? Did, did you look at her? Mom, you know very well that I, I'm conscious of what I, what I eat. That girl is not going to cook my food. Son, I'll plead with you not to dismiss her because of my looks. Oh, how... Please. She's a classic woman and that's the kind of woman you need. Uh, Son, uh... you're a well-traveled pilot. Dignitaries visiting from time to time. Your domestic staff should be a woman. She's the kind of person you need. She's classy. I have a domestic staff and the man is doing an excellent job. At this stage of your life, a woman should start preparing your food. Give her a chance. Ijuma, the job is yours. Oh, thank you, ma. Thank so you, sir. Us. How much are we going to pay? Uh, well, Mom, well, hold on. Since I'll be the one paying, don't you think that it's, it's right for me to, to tell you what I can afford? Why are you sounding scared? Are you broke? No, Ma, I, I think he's right. He has the right to say what he can afford. Okay, let's see it. 10,000 naira per month. What? That's what I have. I'll take it. No. I'll take it, Ma'am. I don't have issues. Her salary will be 50,000. That's what you'll pay her. Come, let me show you your room. This way, darling. This way, yeah. Excuse us. Hello, Jeremy. Uh, Annie, how are you? I'm good. How is my wife? Um, is my wife with you? I should be the one asking you that. I don't know. She lives in the same house with you. And besides, I've not seen her for days. Ah, uh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, please don't be offended with my question. I was thinking that uh, she's with you. No, 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 no. I've been, I've been in the state. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm just coming back. I'm on my way coming back. Oh. 
please try safely, okay? Now, don't forget to make use of your seatbelts, okay? Okay, I will. All right, take care of yourself, okay? All right. See, listen, guy. <clears throat> One thing about me is that I hate to join issues. <clears throat> yes, now, especially with those who are not up to my class. I don't want to have this discussion again about that girl, Biko. Uh -uh. What is all this? Guy, we need to talk. Please, I'll call you back, okay? Huh. Alpha. I do, I do. Polo, oh, no. I say you want to see for this one when they throw your eye. <laughs> that girl. Uh. What is her work in this house? Which girl? I talk and say you want to see. She, she's here to cook. Cook? Uh -huh. See, let me tell you the truth. Though. That girl does not look like somebody who is here to cook. From the way I'm seeing that girl from this angle, eh? That girl looks like somebody who is here for that thing. Ah! Andy! Why will you make such a session about her? See, let me tell you. Eh? I'm not seeing that girl as someone who can cook good food. I'm not sure she's here to cook. Andy, it's not written on the face. Who told you? Yes! Polo, by this time you should know that I am a spiritual man. And I see things in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes! See? The way I'm seeing that girl, eh, she's here on a deadly mission. And we need to be careful. If I go again, you see you. I know you more than you know yourself, Andy. Let me tell you, you better remove your eyes from that waist. Because already I have my eyes. I'm living there. You're living there? Yes. You could go never. No, no, okay. Look at me first here. Polo. You know I like good things. I like big things. I'm into big things. You want to gym? I can't But let me advise you. I will advise you to take your eyes off that gear. You will line up like me to one side. Yes. See, let me tell you. You see that gear? Eh? Your one year salary. She will manage it in one week. A month ago. So I advise you to take your eyes off that game. I can my girl one day. You come to me and Andy, my guy. I want you to borrow me some money one day. Yes, that's why you are my friend. Even if I come to you, you must borrow me. Borrow me. You see that girl? <gasps> Forget about her. She's too small. I have handled girls bigger than her. I handle girls for a living. Are you serious? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Handle her.
never knew she was this beautiful. See how beautiful and fresh she looks. Oh, life. <laughs> life, indeed, everyone should be given a chance to express what they have. Look at her. So beautiful and fresh. And then she can cook. Oh my goodness. She can cook. The last time I had a meal this good was when I visited a Nigerian restaurant in Switzerland. And now I am blessed with a woman who is not just beautiful, but also well-mannered and a great cook. And so it is safe to say that I am in luck. <laughs> Ooh. This morning, I told you I was going for an interview. I didn't have your last letter this time of the night. Mm. My mom. A tanker fell on the express. A tanker carrying fuel. And it was a total lockdown. They kept us for hours. It was just this night that they removed the tanker. Oh, my darling. But the good news is that I secured the contract. You know, they asked me to come on Saturday so that you can finalize everything. What about Tani? Did she succeed? Of course, we both succeeded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you know what, darling? I need to go right inside. Okay, so I can freshen up and then make something for both of us to eat. Okay? Don't worry, I've already made food for us. You made food? Oh, come here, my darling. Come here. <laughs> mm. Okay, let me go freshen up, okay? I'll join you. Alright? Alright. <laughs> Keep that talk. Where the salad did she go to? I will surely find out. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, not a problem, sir. What you have asked is not impossible. Yes. <laughs> of course I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, if for nothing else, your commitment to charity uh, is quite um, laudable. I'll do it. I'll um, draft the uh, commendation letter and send to the Aviation University. But, sir, I would like to see them first. Oh, yes. Oh, at the moment, I'm home. Um, but next week would be better. Uh, after my return from New York, uh, they can come to the office and see me. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, come in. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, uh, I'll be in touch. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, good afternoon. I want to know what you would like to have for lunch. Or should I use my discretion and make you something nice? Ah, I was going to ask you. Good thing you're here. Did you go to a catering school to to improve your culinary skills? No, sir. I learned from my mom. You learned from your mom? You learned from your mom? Quite impressive. I, I enjoyed the meal that you prepared yesterday. L listen, I give it to you. You're a very good cook. Thank what you. I had yesterday was really, 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 really good. And just so I encourage you, I have decided to review your take-home package. 
I'm going to raise it from 50,000 to 80,000 naira monthly. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you. Uh, it's nothing. You're, you're good at what you do. It's fine. Thank, uh, you. thank you too. Um, yes, you were here to what again? To find out what you would like to eat. Or if I should use my discretion. Please go ahead and use your discretion. Uh, okay. Needless to say that I trust you now. Thank you. So I'm glad you like my food. <laughs> I do. Uh, oh. Thank you. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, now. I called you all through the night. So they phoned me, but they didn't pick your phone. My dear, I noticed my phone was vibrating. But I didn't want to pick the call because Jeremy is already getting suspicious of me. But how could you tell such a lie without informing me? I didn't know it was going to come out like that. Eh? I didn't know. So, how did it end the call? This is not what we will discuss over the phone. We need to see one on one. So, can you come to my house later today? I'll be there shortly. Okay? Alright. See you then. Okay? Everything is working perfectly, Ma. Good. I'm glad I'm hearing it directly from you. Yes. He, he likes my food. He enjoys it. And because of that, he increased my salary from 50,000 to 80,000. Hey, Jama. I'm sure you know what you're there to do in my son's house. You're not there to cook food or receive fat salary. Of course I know, Ma. In case you have forgotten, let me refresh your memory so we can be on the same page. You are there to lure, seduce him, to make him get you pregnant. Then you leave the rest for me. I know my mission here, Ma. And I'm already setting plans in motion towards achieving that. You don't have any problem. Good. I'm glad you know your mission. Let him get you pregnant. You leave the rest for me. All right, Ma. I'll try my best. Don't try your best. Do it! Yes, Ma. Oh, please. What will I cook for this guy? So it means that she lied to you about her movement. Exactly. I oh, know you need to find out. You have to find out where she went on that day. You should find out. That is what I intend doing, but I don't know how to go about it. Not, not to worry. Uh, I'll come up with something. Hmm. Lara. He must be up to something for not telling you that he called me. That means he knows I lied to him. Yes, I think so. I just have to cancel the weekend. No, 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 no. You don't have to do that. Why? If you do, he will know you must have spoken to me. So, just... But I Andy, mean, there was no contract negotiation in the first place. We will create one, Lara, please. We will. We will create one? Yes. How? Come on, just relax, okay? Relax. <sighs> relax. I'm out. Lara, relax, okay? <sighs> just relax. Calm down. Everything will be fine. We'll fix this. We will sure? fix this. First grade. Hey. Jamam Meshe. Your food is ready. Come take it in the kitchen. Hold on. You mean I should 
go to the kitchen and take my food. Mm -mm. You shouldn't go to the kitchen to take your food. Rather, you should invoke it to come here so you can have it. Well, you're supposed to bring the food here and serve me. This is my office. As what? As the person that employed me or what? Are you paying me? Look at this man. Is it because I cook and serve you in this house? I don't, I don't understand. Eh? With your, with your rubbish shoe, I should come and serve you. I don't have your time. Maybe when the hunger starts dealing with you, you won't have any choice but to come in and take your food. Nonsense. But Paul told me that she's the cook. I'm beginning to see what Paul was talking about to Hi! Urudia, Urudia, or get there, or get there. If you gotta take that food, I'll take that food, yeah. Stepped in your foot into this house. My life has not been the same based on emotions and feelings. Eh? I don't understand you. <laughs> don't tell me you don't understand me. See, I love you. Eh? Yes, I want us to be lovers. Are you okay? Are you Have okay? you lost your mind? Lovers with who? You. Look at you. What do you think you can offer? <laughs> No, no, okay now. I don't have a I don't have a See, I have a lot of people here. Listen, you have got absolutely nothing to offer. And for your information, I don't do people in your level and class. So don't you ever waste my time by stopping me to say this nonsense to me again. Hey, RJ, why are you sick? Hey, don't, do not touch me, Makola. Don't you don't, don't, don't touch me. Hey. Come on, uh, but is that, that's not enough reason for, for her to be talking. Let's see the way she's even talking to me. Is it because I'm working here as a domestic worker? Are you okay? Hmm? I'm okay. Paul. Oh. Hmm? You see that paradise you are targeting? Yeah? Hmm. If you put your hand there, Uri Akagi, So I cannot admire the dining again. Who knew me this boy? Who knew me? I knew her and can't see her. I'm good to go. How do I look? Yeah. Uh huh. You look. Ah, you are stunning. Beautiful. Whoa, mm -hmm. my darling. Yeah, you know you always make me feel honey each time you say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let me look for that I want to qualify how you look because I say you're beautiful. It's an understatement. Mm -hmm. Turn around. You're charming. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, thank you, darling. Mm. You know how much you care about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you are the best husband I can ever have. Mm. I love you. Oh, yes, love you. Do you know what, honey? I need to record this. Good. Yes. Go ahead. I have to record this. What about your thoughts? Honey, my phone, I think I left it upstairs. One minute, please. Oh, my God. Oh, I am 
Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Okay. You start right like now? Yes. Like I was saying. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Romantic. Oh. So fascinating. Mm -hmm. So alluring. Mm -hmm. The best woman I've ever met all my life. Wow. And I'll never want to meet any other woman. Oh, that's so sweet, honey. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have to run that now, okay? It's so lovely. Yeah, it is. I'll watch you when I get back, okay? Right, thank you. Bye. I love you, honey. I love you too. Uh, guy, go, go. My wife just left the house now. The house she just entered doesn't look like an office. But it looks like a, a residential home. Oh no, there's, there's an office there. Are you sure? Oh yes. Um, they actually know it's a cosmetic. Um, let's still settle. <laughs> What's the name of the company? Uh, I think it's uh, what again? Uh, beauty spot cosmetic. That's entirely different from the name I saw the contract for. Are you sure? Oh yeah. of them all. Hey! Do not ever touch me again. What is wrong with you? Did I ever tell you I was going to think about it? Did I? Uh, see, let me tell you, IJ. I know you were in a bad mood that day. That's why I allowed you. But now I can see you did. Stop hitting me like that. What is wrong with you? Is it because I haven't told your boss what you've been doing? I have my reasons why I haven't told him. So do not push me. Because you will not like the outcome. Ah, uh, uh, IJ. Me, I know you cannot tell my old guy. <laughs> See, whatever happens behind closed doors, remain behind closed doors. Forget all this, your initial guard. IJ, me, I know that you like me. <laughs> hey. Can I be left alone? Just like that. IJ, I love you. I love you. Are you sure this guy is not mentally derailed? What is wrong with him? Yeah. Oh. Uh, there's something I want you to do for me. Okay. Just go out there, eh? Check
this one um red card so babe what's up they who are they oh my god i'm free <laughs> oh my god my home free you mean i mean can you just be serious for me? okay 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 hold on see what you will do just call him on the phone and tell him you got the contract signed okay to what end it's a way to consolidate your life since they followed you and once you call him and break the good news to him he will believe you hmm. i think you're right Okay, darling, just handle the situation, okay? <sighs> One bad thing with lies is you need another fat lie to cover up the previous. I just hope this works. Humphrey, I am not comfortable with the whole arrangement. I think we should go in there. Find out for the management or the company if they are recruiting any new people. Mm, we won't do that. That would be quite embarrassing. I'm smart. I'm not going to mention anything. <clears throat> Hello? Hello, darling. Guess what? What? Just guess, guess. Okay, you know what? The contract has been approved. Wow. Congratulations. Mm, thank you. I am coming home very soon so that we can celebrate. All right. Okay. See you soon, baby. I love you. What happened? To What's up? She said she got a deal. Okay, so it means she's been telling the truth all, all along. Are we here? Yes, You sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how did it go? It went well. You know, I had to cook up a celebration to consolidate the life. Really? Mm -hmm. So it worked perfectly. Oh my no, god! Everything from the printing of the forms to the call confirming that I got the endorsement. Man, babe. Babe, you are too much! Come on, that's how you treat suspicious men. Don't, don't you know that? Honestly, I don't. Oh. But babe... You know, something keeps baffling me. How did you come up with the idea of printing those books? Oh, my darling. It's simple, okay? That's the only thing that you will see and believe that you're negotiating a contract. Oh. Okay. Annie. Yeah, baby. Annie. Trust you me. are too oh. much. Trust uh -uh. me. Annie, I owe you one. I only want, honestly, thank you so, so what much. What are friends for? Aww. Yeah. <laughs> My dear, please, because I need to head home. I understand. Please, please, please. Okay. okay. Ah, Annie. Just... Come you on. Too much. Come on. I love your son, Mrs. Silo. 
but you have been shading him from me. How could you say a thing like that? I've tried severally to get to him through you, but I've refused to do the needful. How exactly do you expect me to come in? Just tell him about me. There has to be history. And you think telling him about you will make him marry you? I didn't say so. But at least it will pave way for me. Okay. I'll talk to him about you then. And I'll get back to you. So, when are you getting back to me? As soon as possible. Please tell me about your business trip. Fine. But I want to explore other areas of business. Really? Yeah. Now you can have your drink. <laughs> Please. So tell me, what what is this area of business you're talking about? <laughs> My love, I want you home. I want to buy something. It's worked. <laughs> it's settled yes. by the phone. Congratulations! Thank you! My beautiful thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know what? Mm -hmm. This calls for celebration. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But before then, mm. let us go to Sir also Bob so that you can do the needful. You know, earlier today, you made me feel so, so honey. Oh. And I've been holding on to that. So come on. Now you go give you some sugar. Anytime. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like it. I know you like it. Of course. <laughs> if you have anything, for your sake, baby. Mm. Um, what's wrong with you? Because I know you want to gossip. What is it? It's not gossip. Have you been observing that girl, Ijoma? What kind of stupid question is that? I told you I know you want to gossip. What do you mean if I have been observing her? Have I not been observing her since she came to this house? That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that that girl is not happy. Yes, mm -hmm. if you look at her very well, you know that she's not happy. Maybe she's having issues with her. That has been my prayer point. Yes. <laughs> your prayer point? <laughs> so you are praying for your organ not to be happy? Hey. Andy, why are you trying to make me look as if I am a bad person here? I am not a bad person. Yes. I got me, I'm just catching my cruise. Oh, you're catching your cruise. Uh -huh. You're catching your cruise with something like this. Eh? So if Oga is your elder brother and he is not yet married at this age, you'll be catching cruise with him. My God, eh? I know the dog is let me tell you. Oga's mom has finished to work for Oga. This drama is a prayer point for all the whole men out there. I don't see the reason or God don't want to <laughs> comply. But if God fails to comply, you will touch me, buddy. Okay? If you see where I am chasing that girl, you will touch me, money. Ha! If I finish dealing with her, with a woman I am bonangada. My friend. That girl will continue to call my name for the rest of her life. Yes, sir. Polo. Yeah? Each time you open your mouth, <laughs> I will know that you are very sick. Sad wrong. I'm very sick. Don't worry. You will understand very soon. Huh? Um, well, how can I concentrate? 
I cannot concentrate because I'm, I'm not just a cook. But you're not, you're not just a cook. You're not a cook, but what man are you? I know you're, you're scared of going all out with me because you think I might betray you tomorrow. But I'm not like that. Listen, I vow to you on the sacredness of my womanhood that I will never do a thing like that. Never will I. Okay, alright. He, um, he came in to reconcile what is Ijoma. Did you come here as a cook for me or my mother placed you here for her own objectives? Whatever the, that might be the case has been overtaken by the genuineness of my interest. Listen, Humphrey, I love you. Humphrey, I love you. I love you so much. And if you give me a chance, I will prove it to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, my mother. Uh, you know what? That's enough. Okay, your time here is up. You have to go. Okay, get your things together and get out of my house. See, that's not to interest or dress this way. I love you. I love you. I am going to use my hands. Please. Out. Just keep get it. out! Possibly shouting at each other. Why now? In our jump, each one will join. You just go back to the gate here. Eh? I'll go and find out. Uh, let us go and find out. As what? As the chief guard now. Chief, I will, I will who who are the chief to your name? My friend, get him out. Okay, I'm a security officer. What are you saying? You just, I have office. He just called me, okay. I'll go, I'll go and find out now. Let's go together. Uh, Hello, sir. You sound very angry. What is it? Okay, I'm coming in. What just happened? See, let me tell you, I don't know what has happened. But what is happening now is that that babe they enter my eye. Which can not say be that one? I don't understand you. Which babe they enter your eyes? Each your See, let me tell you, Oga should be careful the way he, he, he's handling that girl. Because that babe will be the reason I will have issues with him. Uh-uh. Hmm? So you have started smoking in the daytime. You have to in the daytime. Do you know that if your guy finally hears what you said right now, that you are leaving this house the next morning? I wish God will make it possible. Jesus, will you make it possible this minute? What are you saying? If your guy fires me, I will accept it and I will live with the babe. Can you make this boy here? Yeah, Can you make this thing? If I have a lot of time. Let me give you, let me give you, let So, upon all the women you have been firing, Woman we in a fire 24-7. Eh? In case Baraka not, you are not okay with them. You now want to be dragging a woman with Oga. Oga. Hi. You know what? You are the wrongest person I should have this discussion with. Just the Jabena gate, eh, man? Go to the gate. I should go to the gate. Eh, my gate. And mind the gate. Yes. But do you know that if Oga finally fires you, mm. that you will live through that gate and I will close the gate and you will not come back again? See, let me tell you, eh? If you leave this gate, I will close the gate and you will not enter this compound again. Don't forget the gate, ah, pia. I will fire you, Mbagi Jaja. Uh, thank you. But make sure you open the gate for me and the girl because I will not live alone. 
The truth is that Humphrey doesn't want to get married to any woman. Why? He believes all women are the same. But you know that's untrue. All women can never be the same. But my wife is a typical example of all women are the same. Secondly, Humphrey is highly temperamental. He doesn't take shit from any woman. However, I will talk to him, who knows? He might change his mind because of you. I don't think there is any need for that. Don't worry, don't, we don't need to talk to him again. Don't, don't talk to him. It's not necessary. Why? I have changed my mind. Please, can we do without talking about this? You are confusing me, my dear. You were the one who switched to him. I know, but I've changed my mind. You know, sometimes we discover that some battles are not necessary. Especially when you're fighting for what you have already. You are still confusing me. Please, can we quash this topic? Oh God, when will you bless me with my own man? I need to settle down and prepare for the future. At this stage of my life, I am supposed to have at least two children. The pains of spending the night without a man I can call my own is killing me. Dear Lord, hear my prayers. Please. I am trying so hard to understand what you're saying. What I am saying, mother, is that I've had enough. Mother, I have tolerated enough. I've had it up to here, beyond my limits. You see that your candidate that you smuggled here as a cook, all she's been fired. I kicked her out of my house and nothing will bring her back here again. Nothing. Son, do you know who Ijoma is? Oh, who is she? No, who is she? I see a woman who's nothing but a loose, desperate woman. That's what I see. And I have no business with a character like that. Son, you're judging her in a hurry. This drama is one babe with extraordinary quality. Just give her space to prove herself. What? Oh, she had all the space and time that she needed. And she proved herself quite all right to be a desperate bimbo. I have no space for people like that in my house. Mother, this is me respecting you and telling you the decision that I've made. If I see that idiot here again, I'll have her arrested. Son, it hasn't got into that. Hi. What did she do that made you change your mind so fast? Don't give me call Mezi. Give me your mama Mezi. I'm serious about what I'm saying. Annie, ever since I got to know you, I've never seen you fall for any man. So what's, what's going on now? Change they say is constant. That is what is playing out. So, how do I come into this? Like, what do you want me to do, Lara? I don't want you to judge me, okay? I've taken serious time to think about this and I want to do this. Come on, Annie. I've never judged you and I won't even start now. Just, just tell me, what do you want me to do? Okay, I want you to help me talk to Humphrey. I'm in love with him. <gasps> Annie! Yes? Are you for real? I am. You are serious? I am. Ha. Huh. Well, 
Remember, you promised not to judge me. I am not judging you, but... You're sure? I am. I am. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Humphrey and I don't talk regularly. But I'll talk to my husband, who is his best friend. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's why you're my friend. Listen. If it's in my power to cement both of you, I will do that without batting an eye. I know. Thank you so much. You're happy now? I am. You're sure? I am. Come on. <laughs> so tell me what do I help for you? Anything. Anything? 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 I'm getting you dog head. Anything? <laughs> <You're> crazy. <laughs> I'm free. That is the most unreasonable thing I've had in recent times. Moral decadence is on the rise. Trust me. A time has come when married women will keep boyfriends with the full knowledge of their husbands without their husbands seeing the world. That's the problem, women. You know, we, 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 we live in a time where Morality and sanity has been thrown to the dogs and sacrificed on the altar of jet age. Mm. But no one seems to be checking what's going on. No one cares. No one is talking about it. You know? And, and we're just we're just living through it. An uncensored generation. Now where everyone do what pleases them without mm. minding the adverse effect. You know, funny enough, Jay. Yes. You see what we're talking about right here? You see, you see this thing that we're were frowning at, mm -hmm. you find some people supporting and giving credence to what normal human beings would see as an abnormality. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure, sure. sure <laughs> I'm with you. Look, the bottom line here is that your mother brought that girl to your house for a reason. And believe me, she just implemented why she was brought to your house. Is that so? Why would she do that? She wants you to get married. Can't you understand? She wants me to get married. Of course. By bringing a woman into my house to seduce me into getting married. I'm afraid your mother can go to any length nah. to get what she wants. Come on, that's hogwash. No, no, not not in this case. Do. Listen, I know what I want. I will get for me what I want. I left everything I was doing to answer your call. You have always wanted my son, right? Yes. All I need is your permission to grab him. You have my permission. Go ahead. <gasps> Are you for real? Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> Thank you so much. Okay, Annie came to look for you today. Why? Annie likes Humphrey and she wants you to talk to him on her behalf. If I should do that, that would make her look so cheap to my friend. Don't you think so? Oh. But sweetheart, this is Jet's age. This is Jack's age where anybody can do whatever he or she wants. My love, living in a jet age will not make us lose a sense of an African culture. Our African culture instills dignity in our women. And that will make them no so, so lose when they make an approach for a relationship to a man. So... 
invariably you're not going to talk to Pompey on Annie's behalf. You will? Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you darling. Thank you. Oh, please. Don't make me do this a second time. I'll quit. Let me go and set a shower, okay? Okay. I'll be waiting. Love you. Love you, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to hear this. the handsome pilot, the man of the people, the man that all the ladies have been falling in love with. Um, Lady Chelsea, that, that was not necessary. Eh? However, thanks for the encomium. Um, I am indeed surprised to see you here. You know, my boys told me that um, you're here to see me and here I am wondering why you're here. You are my friend. And I came to see you. Wait, are you actually saying that you don't miss me? Miss you. <laughs> Chelsea. It's quite disturbing to find out that in spite of um, how far you've gone in life and all that you have attained as a businesswoman, uh, you still allow my mother Puts you through this very laughable process. It's why would you do this to yourself? I don't actually understand what you mean by that. I came here on my own, and guess what? I'm here to spend the night with you. You're here yeah. to spend the night with. You. <laughs> well, right here in my house. Of course. Here. <laughs> I'd like to see how this pans out. You know what? Um, I am not going to throw you out of this house. Um, reasons best known to me. It's okay. So it's fine. You can stay if you want to stay. But while you're here, you will behave yourself. Mr. Hanson, we are all mature. Hmm? Anything that is going to happen between us, you will like it. Trust me, you can like it. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see about that. <laughs> Listen, I actually know what you want. Yes, I know you are here to try your luck. And that is why I've called you here to give you tips. What tips? I know you are here to try your luck with Oga. And you also need to know that many ladies have tried and failed. So, do you know what is wrong with him? There is nothing wrong with him. Then why is he not playing with women? <sighs> okay. Maoka is a pilot who travels out every week. It's possible he has a babe outside. Look at about that thing. He has nobody. We just that he hates anything women. How sure are you? I'm very sure. Let me tell you, I can make you be that woman. Just go in, take your shower, get yourself prepared, then I'll take you to his room. If he declines, then I can actually come in there. I'm actually sexy behind closed doors. He won't understand. Just go and shower, okay? If he feels, I will come in. There. So you got to hear the good news. I know you have one for me. I'm not even sure if I should call this good news. I mean, considering how determined you've become. Okay, just tell me. You can take anything. Well, um, my husband has agreed to talk to Humphrey. <gasps> That's good news. So when am I getting a response? Soon, I guess. 
when you need to follow your husband up. Listen, my dear. You need to understand that we are talking about the matter of the heart. And it has to do with emotions. But not to worry. I will talk to my husband on your behalf. In fact, I will compel him to work on your behalf. Okay? Thank you. But, girlfriend, you need to be coming down. <clears throat> Thank you, Lara. I am calm, okay? Are you? Yes, I am. Are you sure? I am. Like this? Yes. You are calm. Yes. <laughs> Are you saying you slept on the same bed with him and he didn't touch you? Exactly. I want the most seductive nightwear. I use the most expensive perfume with good fragrance. But what no avail? You should have tried to engage him since he's not bulging. <laughs> I touched him. I romanced him. But you know what? He did achieve even a second erection. Then there's a big problem. Is that what I'm thinking? Is either his manhood is not functioning or he's the homosexual? No, you won't say that about my son. But what's the problem? I know him in and out. You won't say that. Maybe he has a spiritual wife. Excuse me. Please. Hello. Okay. You see that woman inside there? Yeah. I don't like her. Ah, ah. I mean, why would you say such a thing? Huh? Has there ever been a girl you liked? Why are you calling a girl? Eh? Uh -huh. You are calling a woman a girl. Uh -huh. She is a mother. And I don't even know what orgasm is in her. I don't know. Nah, I'm going you see. Eh? For crying out loud, don't tell me you are one of those people who we condemn a woman just because she has a child. Come, what is on the man now? Eh? I am waiting for a guy to miss her, then I will come in. You will come in as how? Eh? Is something wrong with you? Hey, Paul. So, you have sworn that. You must go after every woman that comes to visit on them. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <coughs> Is it my fault? Since Oga don't want to get married, I'll continue trying my luck. See, you never can tell if I will get married before Oga. Then I will invite him for my wedding as the father of the day. And you want to get married before your Oga? And you are going after every woman that, 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 that is looking for him? Eh? Don't tell me what will happen to all the girls you have been mahandling. Ma all the girls we have been dealing with, each day in Ibiya, each day in Ibiya, what will happen to them? They are low lives. Mm. Yes, man, that's what I'm looking for, you know. Cool girls with mm. connection, high class. Mm. Mm. I don't want the girl that will be giving me bills every time. Give me money, give me money. I want girls that will be giving me. Eh? Mm. Yes, now. Mm -hmm. that, that's the deal. Look at me, do I have anything? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Hello? Huh? <laughs> you are sick. Very sick. I'm sick. No problem. Accepted. I am waiting for a guy to run empty trip. Then I will load my bus and I will carry the woman. If you see me, Nero Leben, my house of passenger, you will dash me money. Let me tell you, Andy, I love that girl with woman. Woman. I love that woman. Girl. Woman. Girl. Woman. Girl. Okay, man, we find them again. You see the woman? A girl. A woman. Girl. Humphrey, yeah. You have to be very careful with those ladies. Any mistake on your part it will simply mean a forced marriage. I know, I know. That's why I'm being very careful. I know. But someone wants to meet with you. Who? Annie. Who's Annie? Why does she want to meet with me? Annie's my wife's friend. Maybe when you meet with her, you surely find out what she wants to no, meet no, with no, you. No, 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 no. I'm not doing it. No, Jay, Jay, Jay. No, no, please, no hookups, please. It's not, you know, it's, it's not my style. You know that, right? Yeah, I know, but please. Do this for, for my sake. Because my wife believes I'm the one who can pull this through. 
if not for anything, at least for the sake of my wife. Please. This one time. This one time I'll do it. Thanks, man. I owe you a bottle of champagne. Ah, really? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Straight to the bar. Straight to the bar. No oh, yeah. problem. <laughs> <laughs> champagne. <laughs> Problem all along. Why did you tell me you had problem with your manhood? What proves yes, that you can't achieve erection? But that's not true, Mom. What, what did you get that from? You know I am saying the truth. I am your mother, Momoli. I carried you in this room completely nine months. I watched you grow under my care. It takes me nothing to dictate when something is wrong with you. Well, in this case, whether you have detected wrongly, because I am fine. I'm okay. If you insist you're not having problem with your manhood, that means you're into homosexual activities. Oh, yes. Mom. Don't mommy me. Don't mommy me. Okinigameli. Okinigamelo, what have I done? Emelungene, what have I done to deserve this? What? Am I asking for too much? Am I asking for too much than say give me grandchildren? You are my only surviving son. The least you could do is give me a grandchild. Am I asking for too much? First and foremost, I am not gay. I am not planning on becoming one. Now that we're here, I might as well just tell you my truth and, and what's been going on. I don't intend to get married, mother. I have a temper. I cannot contain their excesses. I can't. I can't. I can't live like that. I'm sorry, mother. I, therefore, have decided that I would find me a decent young girl who was willing to get into a contract with me. I pay her. She bears me children. I take my kids and she leaves. And I, 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 I you know. Abomination! Abomination! Ah, no! Don't let that come out of your mouth again. That's an abomination! Hey! Hey, pussy body fire! I'm sorry, mother, but that's my truth, and I'm afraid nothing can change that decision. What did he say? Uh, I actually love your girlfriend. Humphrey has agreed to have a date with you. Really? Mm-hmm. I can't wait to sit and talk with him. Girlfriend, calm down. I am calm. My ears are just itching to hear the good news, so tell me. Listen, Anna. You have to understand that Humphrey is a very busy man. I know. 
but he has agreed to make out time for the outing. <sighs> but then, um, what about um, Chris and um, Kingsley? Kingsley? Yeah, please. They're not serious. At this stage of my life, what I need is a man that will take me as his wife, not someone who just wants me for sex. Ahe, yes. I'm very happy to hear you say these things. Mm. That means sense of responsibility is beginning to filter into your head. <laughs> I'm happy for you, girlfriend. My darling, you can say that again. It is called growth. Mm. Mm. High five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Jeremy. I'm really sorry to disturb you, but we need to see. No, I'm not at home, but I'll be home shortly. No, you don't need to come today because it's getting late. Let's see you tomorrow then. Yes, come in. Sir. Yes, Paul. I have served you dinner. Food, eh? Yes, sir. I'm not hungry. Why not? So you've not eaten anything all day? Yeah, not in the mood for food. Can you eat something? Uh, you know what? Sir. But I'm hungry. And I feel like eating something, I'd let you know. You'll make it for me. But for now, whatever it is you've made, you can share with Andy. That's okay. 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 You are smoking has gotten to the extent that you want to lose your job. Eh? Or you have another job as well. Okay. You want me to lose my job also? It will not work for you. How do you mean I should sit and let's eat? I said sit and let us eat. And don't tell me you are allergic to eating good food. What can you do? Okay, so you can so you can go allergic to eating good food. Or gas food. Served in a gas plate. You are asking me to sit and let's eat. Eh? See, your plan will not work. That's your plan. It will not work. I'm not sitting anywhere. Okay. For your information, Oga has blessed us with this food. He said we should demolish it the way we like it. Are you sure? Are you sitting on us? My fam, man, I want, I want to see why you go sitting near. Devil run away. Niggas, don't come. What the procedures? What the procedures? Oga has us. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Oh. It's because of me that a guy asks us to eat this food. I really have food. Oh, this is okay. This part will go talk. Okay, we'll call sack me and you. If we talk now, nah, eh, I'll go to the center of that. I can have the opportunity all the guests that are coming here. You ask them to leave this food for me. Don't shut up, I need this food. Thank you. Mm. I was the one that came to call you. I understand the kind of schedule you run. How tight your business commitment is. But honestly, there is nothing stopping you from making out time for family fun. Nothing. Honey, please, stop complaining. I give you all the time. Hmm? I know. But if you improve on your commitment towards this union, it will be better. I know you love me, but I need you to love me more. It's okay. If you feel I'm not doing well enough, then I promise you I have to. I will improve. Hold on. Humphrey. Hello, when uh, you're still awake. Uh, no, Jay. I've been thinking of something. Thinking about what? Uh, can I... Um... Oh, I'm not used to things like this. Um, okay, this is it. I've been thinking that um, you set me up with Anne for dinner this weekend. Ah, um, okay, I... I will speak with her, and I believe she will have a chance to, to, to do that. Okay, cool. I mean, we'll, we'll try it and see how it goes. If it goes well, we'll get properly acquainted, and, you know, um, the flight can take off from there. It's okay. I will speak with her first thing tomorrow morning. Ah, thank you, Jay. And uh, one more thing, please. After you're done speaking with her, can you please um, send me her number so that I can, you know. All right. I, I will do that. All right. Have a pleasant night rest. Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Uh, whatever. Humphrey wants to go on a date with Annie. Honestly. <laughs> From look of things, I believe everything is going to work out fine. This is good news. First and first, you have to ask Kanye to come around. I have to put her through on how she's going to handle Humphrey. Okay? Settled. She will be here first thing tomorrow morning. Trust me. All right. So, oh, thank you. Where did you stop? Uh, right now, I don't want to talk about that again. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Be sure. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I sure? don't want to talk about it come again. On. Come here. Let me lift you to the roof. Oh. Yes, um, it's still early. I wouldn't want us to engage in a long discussion. So I'm going to cut this meeting short so you can go. Let me attend to my business. I will appreciate that, Ma. Your friend, my son, has taken a decision never to get married. Rather, he intend to employ women to get pregnant and bear children for him. That sounds so funny. No man does that. Well, he has chosen to do that. And I'm sure you're not aware. Honestly, I, I'm not aware of such decision. I know. That's why I brought you in. So you can go talk some sense into him. Make him see the advantage of having woman in a home. I, I will talk to him and um, I believe he will reconsider. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Do you care for anything? Uh, no, no, I don't care for anything. I, I'll be on my way now. Be, well, thank you very much. All right, ma. Yeah. Thank you, ma. Okay. Who 
else is there any other person he listens to I can call? Um, <laughs> My darling, I can't wait to see him. I really can't. Of course you will meet him. But girlfriend, I really think you need some orientation. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what's taking your husband? He's taking so Calm long. Calm down. I'm eager to. He will soon be back. Calm down. Okay. Huh? I'm waiting just. Oh, he's back. I he's told you. <laughs> 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 Hey, darling. Good afternoon, dear. Welcome. Mm. Sorry for keeping you girls waiting for so uh, long. No it's problem. Okay. Ah. Yeah, honey, how are you? I'm fine. Uh, I, I called for this meeting. Okay. Humphrey has been my very good friend. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, we'll be friends for a couple of years. So to a reasonable extent, I can tell you his likes and his dislikes, okay? One thing he hates so much is pretense mm -hmm. and fake life. And now you're about getting involved with him, I will advise you to try as much as you could to erase anything that has to do with pretense when you're with him. Be 100% transparent when you're with him. Do you understand? Yes, I do. And in addition, you have to look very beautiful and presentable. <clears throat> Annie, trust me. You know, I know how to package myself so you have nothing to worry about. Oh. Come on. Okay. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Honey, yes, I'm inside. Okay. I'll join you later, okay? Nice one. All right. Mm -hmm. So, my dear, I'm serious. You have to drop fake life. Come okay? On. Don't you go down and keep the hands like this. Be real. Stop. You know I don't want that. Congrats in advance. You're happy now. Oh See you. <laughs> Mom, I honestly cannot believe that you came back here to talk about a wife. I already made my stance clear on this matter to you. I do not need a wife. Can you at least accord me the respect as your mother and listen to me? Mom, you know I always listen to you. Oh yes, I listen to you. It only becomes a problem when you begin to, you know, delve in, into my, 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 my personal life. Trying to influence my choices. Then it becomes a problem. But I, I, I listen to you. Son, I need to educate you on who a wife is. Oh no. A wife is of great importance to a family. A wife will take care of you at your old age. A wife will be your mother and father when your parents are gone. A wife will be your best friend when everybody has turned their back on you. The importance of a wife can never be overemphasized. Mom, I'm working on something. Oh, stop fooling yourself with those words. Well, you have to believe me this time. I am working on something. All right, I'm heading out. Please make yourself comfortable. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. 
that. I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too Not long. at all. You know what they say now, right? You don't keep a beautiful woman waiting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You it's look okay. good. Thank you, you too. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, you have a call? It's okay. Okay, so I see that you 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 what, you didn't place orders yet. You're not taking anything. No, no, no. I was actually waiting for you so we could drink together. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> okay. How nice of you. So let's see. Uh, what would you like? Oh, okay. Calls coming through again. Not someone important. Just forget. Why are you not taking that call? He's not someone important. The person keeps well. calling. Just forget about it. Very unimportant people don't keep calling. Just forget about it. He's not important. Same thing you're going to say to him when you're with him and my call comes through. Excuse me? He's still calling. Just forget about him. Uh, of course, I will forget about this. This is a terrible idea. I can't do this. Humphrey, wait! Humphrey, wait! It's not what you think. Oh, God. What's up, latest girl that is in love? How is the date going? My dear, it's not going nowhere at all. He just walked out on me. What? Why? My dear, today of all days, Chris decided to call. Eh? Out of the blues, I don't even know where he came from. And he didn't just come who was. He kept calling and calling. The queen suit. Annie. Eh? And why didn't you put that phone on silent? Or better still put it inside your handbag? How am I supposed to know that he will call today? Eh? Today of all days. Ooh. Eh? Hey. Okay. What, what did Humphrey say before leaving? My dear, that's not what I'll be talking over the phone. We need to see and talk. And it's already late now. But you know what? Let's see first thing tomorrow morning, okay? Okay, that's fine. Hey! What kind of rubbish is this now? Eh? Trusted all of them. Look at her. Imagine the idiot. She was not taking my calls because I was seated there and her other boyfriend was calling. It's not important. Imagine the nonsense. So, so the day I call and she's with the other guy, she'll also tell the other guy that I am not important. Humphrey will not be important. When I say I have issues with commitment, they say something is wrong with me. They're all the same, not to be trusted. Imagine, for the time of the day, I wasted my bloody time. For what? No, for what? Why, why, why did my mother not come? Yes, come on this date with me. No, why did she not come on this date with me? Why? No, why did she not come on this date with me? To come see me waste my time. When I tell her that all women are the same, no, nobody cares to listen to me. See what just happened. Humphrey does not want to get married. Humphrey doesn't want to get committed. Now, I make an effort and see what happens. 
bloody nuisance. She's lucky I I, 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 I was calm. Got myself together, I would have slapped her. I'm sitting down with her. And that man is calling. Nonsense. And they want me to settle down. I get into that nonsense. I get married and then my wife is cheating on me. And I, and I, and I stay there. I remain there and live in agony. All, all in the name of uh, 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 marriage. Marriage, Bapuoko. My love, you don't look happy. My love, there's a problem. What's the problem? Humphrey just walked out from the date. Why? It's a long story. It's okay. We have all the night to ourselves. So, sit, let's talk about it. Listen, listen, man. Let's let's drop this topic, all right? Anne is an infidel and I cannot have anything to do with her. Humphrey, what exactly did she do? Listen, in, in, my, in my years of interacting with women, I can tell you that I'm quite experienced. So when I see a cheating woman, I know. You haven't said anything. All right, well, if you must know. The day we went to the club, you know, the hookup night. Oh, yeah? We sat down, we together. And a call came through. She refused to take her call. The call kept coming in. I was looking at her, I was looking at the phone. She refused to take the call. Don't you think she did that in order not to have divided attention away oh, with you? Oh, come on now, stop it. Don't, don't, don't say that. She did that to ward me off. You know, just avoid the call. I'm pretty sure she's going to say the same thing to that guy if she were to be with the guy and my call comes through. She's going to say the same thing to him. You know, that's how those girls play. That's what they do. But don't be too sure. I, I, I doubt if, Come if... on. I know her kind. I know her kind. Stop. Stop defending her. I know her kind. Uh, I'm, I'm short of words. I really don't know what, what, what to say again. Can't you give a second chance? Nope. I'm not interested. That's final. Listen. You may not like what I'm about to tell you, but I will say it anyways. Of course, you know, I don't mean words. Annie, I blame you completely for what happened. I do. Lara, I will take the blame. But oh, please, you need to talk to this guy. Please, I'm in love with him. You need to see how I felt when I hugged this guy, Lara. His gentle touch nearly sent me to heaven. Please. Let me talk to him. I mean, you are moving so fast on this lane. I mean, you need to soft pedal. Lara, I'm only expressing how I feel. If I don't have this guy, I would die. You don't understand. <laughs> hey, joke of the century. Mm. I'm not joking, Lara. I love Humphrey. Humphrey means the whole world to me and I can do anything to have him. Please. Annie, you are sounding so desperate. And of course you know I hate desperation. Listen, most women who went on the did so because they played the desperation card. Lara, I please. I don't want you to do the same. Please, I am not desperate. I'm only telling you how I feel and I can do anything to have him all to myself. Please. Hmm. Well, um, my husband has gone to talk to him. Let's see how it goes. Okay? Calm down. So, what do I offer you? Please. I'm not in the mood for that. Cheer up! I'm not having my appetite to eat anything or drink anything. Cheer up, girlfriend. You have to take something. Come on, water, mineral, anything. What do you want? Probably not now. Please, just let me be. Please. Come on.
I feel I have made an excellent choice of myself. Thank you, Mother. Oh, thank you. Amsona, um, have you spoken to your son, the pilot, about this? The question should be, are you in? Sure, I am in. Ma, you said a lot about your son, and I think I love him already, and I want to father my kids. Mm. So would you love to consider marriage with him along the line? Marriage? No, Ma. I just need a decent man to father my kids. So when would you like to meet him? I'm free at the moment. Um, he's traveling to Hong Kong today or tomorrow. Then let's wait for him to return back. Fine. I'll let you know when he's back. Okay, well, I'd like to take my leave now. Okay. Thank you. I'll let you know when he's back. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Someone who will get pregnant so fast. Your mom called me. She says she has been calling you. You are not picking up. Oh yeah, that's um, that's on purpose. Right, I'm flying a long distance route today and I need my head in the right place. I need to be happy. I don't want anything to spoil my mood. Ah, yes, good. Um, but you know what? She calls again. Uh, tell her that I'm out of the country and when I return, I'll call back. Is that okay? Yes, sir. I will stay polite. See you when I return. Yes, right, sir. All right. Stay polite. But she told me I handle her better than the husband. And she pays good money too. But why is the man finally showing his face? Please. Hello? Hello? 
The person did not pick the call. You know, maybe the person can call me back when he or she sees my missed call. Okay? Why not go to the kitchen with the phone in case the person returned the call? No, my love. I will get distracted. You know, aside not being advisable to take calls in the kitchen, I don't want to get carried away and then put much pepper into your food. Okay? The call in time for Apple call. Alright, baby. Mm -hmm. I love you, honey. Okay. Oh. Hi baby, baby I'm sorry, I'm sorry I didn't pick my husband was with the phone when you called. Oh, I know, I know, I thought as much. So, are we still spending the night together? Yes dear, we are. That's baby, baby. So, what time are you coming out? I, I, I can't say for now but I'll keep you posted. It's okay. <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be expecting your call, you know. Okay, sure. You hear from me.
Is his number not connecting? Or did he block me? No, I don't think so. What do I do now? What is all this? This one you're calling me today, are you back in the country? Whoa! Congratulations! I hope she's as beautiful as the mother. Oh, 
my dear. If not that my husband is at home, I would have come spend some days with you and the baby. But he is here. Mm-hmm. My husband is here. Let me say congratulations to her. The baby is crying. She's attending to the baby. It will take me more than 10 seconds to say congratulations to her. Are you sure you want to do this? Why ask such questions? <laughs> Humphrey, my man. Okay, which part of the world are you right now? Hong Kong? Hey, <laughs> that's my man. <laughs> okay, that's okay. How long are you going to stay there? That's okay. All right. Take care. Yeah. So. Bad B. <laughs> I trust you die. <laughs> I'm sure that Mbugu was there. That was why she played that game. A bookie. I don't know why you are flaring up as if I've made an invalid point. You're talking nonsense. You're not making any points and I'm highly disappointed in you. You are disappointed in me because I'm telling you the truth. What useless truth? Tell me what nonsense truth. Listen, Millicent. You're insulting me because I'm putting up with you, right? I am doing this because I love you. And let me remind you, I am here because of the proximity to my business. Nothing else. And I've been trying so hard to know the exact business you're into. You told me you are a contractor, but there is nothing that suggests that you are a contractor. Melissa, let us open up and tell me you're tired of keeping me here. Tell me! And I'll go to my house and I'll come back! Tell me! You are employing the tools of sentiment to weaken me, right? I now know that the exact thing that my friends have been saying is what you are into. Your friends told you part of the cash. They told me nonsense! What did they tell you? What are you talking about? That you are going out with married women just to have money. And you know it's not right!
sentimentally naive. Excuse me. Gerald, I know you will come back. And we will finish this discussion. I know you will come back. Rubbish. You will come back here. Where is my customer? Uh, that's her. Come now. Don't worry about from her. Eh? Hey. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, Uncle Pilot, it's been long you visited our stand. Yes, and that's because I travel all the time. Oh, I see. Uh, Welcome, like right sir. now, I'm just returning from my trip. Welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you. So let me have my usual. Eh? Okay, let me get them. Time. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, do you have bananas in here for me? Uh, but I thought you don't like those, sir. Oh, let me get that. Uh, yeah, it's for my mom, actually. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want cold drink. We have very chewy water. Next time. Okay, sir. Merci, merci. Ah, this is really nice. <laughs> uh, thank you. Okay, um, let's see. It's what just three five, sir. I know, I know. There you go. <laughs> Acapella, this is five thousand. It's just three five. I know. Keep the change. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, Acapella. Right, Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Baby, I'm sorry. You know, my husband has been home all this while and his job is outside the state. But not to worry, he has a job in Abuja this weekend that will last for three weeks. Yes, my love, we will. Yes, we will, starting from this weekend, okay? Um, 
splendid hotel will be fine. Okay, baby. You know, I can't wait to have you inside of me so that you can rock me like a horse. <laughs> okay, baby, I have to go now before my husband starts looking for me. Okay, bye. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who is this? It's me, Ijoma. What do you want? I know you're a well-traveled man who will not judge people without giving them audience. Please, just give me a few seconds to explain some things to you. Explain what? Listen, if I see you here, if I see you in this house, You'll be responsible for whatever happens to you. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? It, it wasn't... Hello? Hello? Why does he look so calm? But at the same time, very complicated. I won't pick him my call anymore. Millie. Millie, I... I don't know, but... I'm surprised. I left your house the other day like a madman. You didn't even bother to call to me if I got home safely or anything happened to me. That's unfair now. That is my problem with you. You act childish at every serious matter. Me childish. Me act childish. That's a polite insult. And I don't like it. Gerard, I'm concerned about your future as a man. You're not thinking about your life and it bothers me. And each time I bring up the topic, you flare up. You don't discuss my future with me. You don't. All you do is at every given opportunity. You investigate me. You interrogate me. Ibonyeke. Anyway, my friend who manages the airport said that there is vacancy at the airport. Hmm? If you apply, I will influence you to get a job. Really? So, what's the job description? Actually, you will not be the one to be doing the job. Okay. The job will be contracted to you. Hmm. Then you will hire people that will be cleaning the restroom. I beg your pardon. Cleaning what? Cleaning the restroom at the airport. My, oh my. Me? No, 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 no. Have you reduced me down to that ebb? Me? To become a janitorial? God damn it. Listen, listen, let me ask you something. If Paraventure, your friends ask you, what, what does your friend do? Okay, on, hello. What would you tell them? Gerard, it boils down to the same thing I've been saying. Whenever I'm trying to help you, you flare up. Is it not better than staying at home doing 
doing nothing. You don't stop. Cutting. Besides, I explained this job to you. You're not actually the one going to do it. You employ people. You explained the job to me. That will be cleaning. God damn. I didn't say you will be cleaning. You will employ people that will be cleaning the restroom. How did that idea even get into your head? Whether you explain or you do not explain, the bottom line is I will become a janitorial. I don't understand. Milia, don't. Mua, I don't understand. Me. Let me shock you. Let me shock you. I am working on something very, very huge. Very huge. And it will shock you. It will shock you when it matures. Mark my words. Mark my words. Polo, mm -hmm. when are we going to see those gays again? My friend, will you lower your voice? Ah. I know a guy is inside, but he cannot hear us. So, when are they coming again? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I got travel, they will come again. Hi! I had fun that deal. Why won't you? That girl, that girl is fire dancer. Yeah. Machine. I saw the way you were <laughs> dancing my poker. I never knew you were good in dancing my poker. Don't mind me after it was. <laughs> Those gays, eh? Fire. Yeah. You see that your small one, eh? Yeah. That one looks like a witch. Hey, well, like a that one is witch. Hey. witch. Did you see the way she was holding my scrotum? Are you serious? <laughs> so, like, like radio, wireless radio. <laughs> if I name pending pa, I never just says. It's like a guy is calling you. Mama, mama! Guess. Okay. How are you, son? This is Christabel. She's a model by profession. She's a pretty girl. Thank you, ma'am. I cannot test. She is well mannered. Christabel, that's my son, Humphrey. He's a pilot. Okay. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, I'll sit down. Let's go straight to business. Christabel here, I have discussed with her. We discussed at length. She has agreed to bear you as many children as you want. To bear you children and walk away. I'm sorry, ma'am. Not just any number of children. I propose three. He will go with two while I go with one. And that one must be female. <laughs> so, son, what do you say? Mom, let, let me talk to you. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Take it easy. Ani, I don't believe in truth, okay? So let's just forget about it. I cried from dream to reality. You cried? Yes. Ha. It was that bad? It was all. <clears throat> Anyways, um, you and I know that my cherry can never do anything to hurt me, okay? So I suggest you treat malaria so that you can stop all this your hallucination. Lara, the fact that I saw Jarrah strangle you in my dream doesn't mean he would do that. It could mean a different thing. <clears throat> well, um, thanks for the advice. 
but I am assuring you once again that nothing bad will happen to me. I mean, what is the problem? Why are you drinking Panadol for my headache? Okay, stop already. Fine. I only care. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, please stop. Please. We still need to trade with caution. Honey, thanks for the advice, but please, can you just take a chill pill? Stop it. It's okay. If you say so. I think so. Anyways. <laughs> Any news about my Humphrey? Hey. Honey. Honey, you're obsessed. Come on. I can't say that again. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I think Humphrey's out of the country. Yeah, because the last time he spoke with my husband, I think he mentioned being in um Hong Kong. Yeah. Well, that's fine anyway. Love a girl. Love a girl. Love a girl. <laughs> Why are you doing this, mother? I'm doing this because I want grandchildren and you must give them to me. Mother, I am working on it. Just give me time. Things would fall in place. Believe me. That time is what I don't have. You will start producing children with Christabel. What? That one? I'm sorry to disappoint you. You won't. I don't like her. You must like her. I don't like her. You must like her. Unless you want me to believe you don't want to give me grandchildren before I die. What are you talking about? Oh, relax. Stop being dramatic. Nothing will happen. Okay? Relax. You know what? Just, just go in there, right? Tell her that we changed our mind, that we're not interested. I will only do that under one condition. What? That you present a girl that will bear your children to me before the end of next week. No problem. I agree. Agreement is agreement, too. I agree. Agreed. <laughs> How did he go, Ma? He doesn't like you. Did he say why? He didn't give me any reason. Um, can I can I speak with him? Feel free, my dear. I want him to marry you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. he really wants. Can I... Your mom says you don't like me. Yes. May I know why, please? I don't owe you an explanation. That's Ash. We're not quarreling besides. I just want to know why you don't like me. I'll walk away. Okay, okay. Sorry, listen. I'm sorry I... It came out that way. But it's not like I really don't like you. It's okay. I've been no grudges. I just want to know why you don't like me. I have someone else. That, that's why. It's not like I don't like you. It's just that I have someone else. Mmm, <laughs> 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 
Are you sure you know? I do. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, sir. <laughs> How's market? Fine, thank you. Thank God. Uh, see you. <laughs> uh, smiling all the time. Okay, today I want um, pineapples, big one. Okay, sir. Big one, sir. Three. Okay, sir. Yeah. Please, just help me in the car. Okay, sir. Ah, thank you. Yeah. I expected your call. The call, eh? I'll call you. Is that a promise? It's a promise. It's a promise. I'll call you. <laughs> Thank I'll you, sir. You. you take care now. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Bye, sir. No doubt, this man likes you. <laughs> Mary, please, don't try to make me start thinking beyond my capacity. Biko, well, from what I have seen so far, he really likes you. Trust me. Yeah. Mary, I'm here. Mary, I'm here. Mary, my name. <laughs> Aga pilot is a pilot that flies around the world. He has seen women of class and caliber. Mm -hmm. There is no way, like, there is, it's not even possible. Wait, they got them. Under what condition do you think that man would like a common fruit seller like me? Beauty, they said, is in the eyes of its beholder. I know you wouldn't believe me. That man really likes you. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you the truth, he likes you. Ah. Well, please, thank you. Keep your advice to yourself. Don't make me start thinking beyond my capacity. Oh, you don't raise to. my hopes. You need to because, because I know I know you are not seeing what I'm seeing. Huh? You need to see what I'm saying. So the way that man is looking hey, hey, hey. at you. Mary, leave me huh? alone. Leave Every me. Every time when he comes, he's buying something. I'm trying to raise my hopes. Just imagine. Thank you. Let's see what you got. Wow. Swear, so 
I believe you know why I sent for you. It's your son. But if that is the case, ma'am, I will tell you that I do not have any good news for you. Have you made any effort to reconnect with him? So many times, ma'am. I have lost count on the number of times I tried. But it appears to me as if he has this natural hatred for me. Because the more I try, the more he, he declines. Really getting me frustrated. Based on your experience where you were living with him, do you think there's any possible means to get his attention again? With what I know of him, he is a man, a disciplined man who can never be controlled by his emotions. He can said to be a perfectionist because he can never indulge in anything without being very sure. A woman like you, with all the gift God has endowed you with, you don't underestimate the power of a woman. Ma'am, I am not underestimating my power as a woman. You just need to understand that we are up against a man who visibly lives above the emotion women invoke. He's not just interested. Are you going to give up? Look at him one more time. He's the exact kind of man you need. Just push harder. You will have him. I can only try this one more time because of you, ma'am. But you need to know that your son is a very difficult person. So difficult. Please don't give up. You can reconnect with him. And when it happens, it will be permanent. You know, I always feel satisfied. Yeah, you give me that satisfaction. I Take you to paradise. Uh -huh. The bathroom. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And keep wanting more. Oh my and more. god. And more. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you're the machine. The lion himself. Really? Of course. Yes. I never knew I was going really to satisfy you. That's what I'm telling you. You really do satisfy me more than any man I've ever met. Okay. But that's what you <laughs> are. That's what you are. Now. <laughs> I'm glad it's just for you. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I hope we keep doing this. I can't tell you. Don't worry. Are you sure? As long as you love it. Of course I do. I'll give it to you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's, like, um, uh, it's like they put your order. Oh, okay. I'm get it. Okay. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Hold on. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, what?
Hello, businesswoman. How are you doing today? What? Wait. Gerard was caught in a hotel room with a married woman. No, 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 no. This is the height of it. This is the height of it. What is wrong with Jared? Oh, jeez. I sounded devastated over the phone and I am hearing you. You look totally devastated. What is it? Humphrey. Humphrey. Jasmine. Jasmine. Che cheating on me. Well, who has been cheating on you? What are you talking about? Wife, I'm free, my wife. Uh, look, 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 Jay, 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 Jay. Now, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't play with things like this. Okay. Do you have your facts? Are they just mere accusations? Do you, do you have proof? I'm free. My instinct. My instinct pushed me to go out. And lay my hands on something. I followed her up. Guess what, Humphrey? I got. Humphrey caught her pants down in the hotel room with her lover. Ah. Oh. Jay, Jay, Jay. 
I know. I know this feeling. Okay. But this you would have to comport yourself. You do. You need to get yourself together. Jay, Jay. Oh, friend, you don't understand. I understand. Oh, no, you don't. Jay, guy, guy. You don't know the pains I'm feeling right now. Jay, Jay, Jay. Jay, Jay. 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 I'm heartbroken now, Jay, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. Easy, easy, easy. I'm here. I know that you're hurt, but this is not the end of the world. Okay? Okay, just, just, just calm down, just calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Take it easy, take it easy. Yeah, I'm here. Guy, 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 guy. Lara. I blame you for all this. First, didn't play your card well. And secondly, you would have been double sure if your husband was traveling or not. And finally, I've advised you to end extramarital affairs when you would do this. Look at it. Please. Anya, I didn't bring you here for you to blame me. Lara, I will tell you the truth. Now that your marriage is at the verge of collapsing, Ah, God forbid. Really, God, for, God, God forbid. forbid. I pray too, God forbid. I pray he forgives you because you're the architect of your own problem. Annie. Annie, I don't like it when you sound like this. Hmm. I don't. Lara, <coughs> I will tell you the bitter truth. Because you're my friend. I can't lie to you. <sighs> Annie. I put you here so that we can find a solution to this problem, honey. Honey, please, I beg you. Okay, fine. So bring your own suggestion. Eh? Hey, bring your own suggestion. Hey! Honey, you finished? Honey, I'm finished, honey, I'm finished. Honey, I'm finished, honey. You know, this this is it. This is the reason I cannot have myself involved with the woman to, to the point of marriage. This is it. The research has shown that 55% of children born in too many homes do not belong to the men who walk around town parading themselves as a biological father. That's not true. What do you mean? What I mean is simple. Extramarital affairs on the part of today's women. Is on the rise. Jay, would you believe if I tell you that 83.5% of my women right now, they cheat? Oh yes, they cheat. Look, they go as far as getting pregnant sometimes for this lousy boyfriend of theirs and then put the child on the mouth. Women are evil. Oh, true. Not all of them, but most of them. I agree. And it, 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 it scares me. Hmm? By the way, what, 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 what did you do to Lara and, and, and the young man? Nothing, nothing. I, I'm nothing. confirming what I went there to see. Bro, I peacefully and quietly walked out of the hotel room. <laughs> ah! Another reason I cannot do this. No, 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 I cannot have a woman in my house as my wife and then this happens. Bro, if, if, look, if, if reverse were the case, Right now, you'll be coming to bail me at the police station because either Lara or that young man, somebody right now will be lying in, in, in mortuary. But that wouldn't solve the problem. It will not solve the problem. Yes, I agree. But both of them right now will be in the emergency unit of the hospital. They will know that they touch the tiger's tail. Go to the uh, manager faker. How can she insult you like that? Look, I know how you feel. I'm not trying to, you know, you know, walk you up. But this is just so painful and heartbreaking. But calm down, though. Calm down. We'll walk through this. Where have you been? I need to do something now. <laughs> Before I forget, has he called? Who? Okay, pilot. Has he called? <laughs> Mary! Eh? How did you know Oga pilot was going to call me? Because I cannot remember discussing that with you. Well, 
I had it when he said he's going to call you. Mary, huh? this goes to say that you've been eavesdropping on me and about pilot's conversation. Yes, so I have. Because I wanted to work out between the two of you. Kangwazi again. Oga Pilot is just my customer. He likes to buy food from me. No strings attached. Biko, anyways, I just came here to ask you or to tell you that if he doesn't call, you can pick your phone and call him. Yes. Are you for real? Call him. Do the calling yourself. Are you sure? I am working on something. Something really huge, and when it matures, you will be shocked. Millicent, why are you mimicking our last meeting? Jared, I am mimicking you because I have seen exactly what you have been planning. What is even wrong with you? Millicent, I'm sorry. Eh? Please, don't think it like that. It was a mistake, and it could happen to anybody. Don't even give me that. Because it's not possible to see a decent man caught pants down with a married woman. You know what, Gerard? You are leaving my house today. And if you leave, don't ever come back. Millie, Millie, what did you say? You heard me. And I mean every word of it. You have wasted my time and it has ended. Go in there, pack whatever thing you came with. If at, all, if at all you have any, you are leaving my house. This minute! Please, 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 please. Just forgive me, please. Gerard! Please. See, Pharaoh, if you are here to make a case for Gerard, I will advise you don't even start because he's gone and gone forever. Why should I make case for Gerard? He has been a time bomb waiting to explode. And he finally exploded and tore himself into smithereens. Now that you have sent him out, don't you think he can gang up with the people of his make and come violently against you? And that would be the reason I'll send him to prison. I have tried everything possible to change him for good, but it's obvious Gerard has no class. He has no class, and we have been dating him all this while. Wait, Fever, what are you insinuating? See, Gerard is a forgotten story, okay? That Lara misbehaved doesn't mean every other woman will misbehave. Oh, please, oh, forget it, please. All women are the same as far as I'm concerned. Enough. I'm a woman. You don't say such thing about women when you are in my presence. Well, I don't say such things about women when I'm in your presence. But that suggests that we should sweep what had just happened. I've had a carpet, Mom. Why are you flowing with me in this conversation? Huh? I just said that Lara is one woman out of many out there. She has a life to live. Is that so? Okay. Fine. No problem. Jeremy, my friend, is seeking advice on what had just happened, Mom. He needs someone to tell him what to do. What do I say to him? Bring him to me. Back to our discussion before you diverted. Oh yes, there are still good ladies out there that will make good wives. Do you want me to arrange one for you? Uh, 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 uh. No more. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, please, please. Ba. Thank you very much. Thank you. Friend, we start down. I have good news. Hmm? Good news, my friend. Good news. Uh -huh. You know I like good news, so hit me. What is it? I have two girls for us. One for you and one for me. <laughs> Polo! <laughs> oh, Polo, we too. 
You know that uh, our guy is still around. He has not traveled. Forget him. Those girls, they on standby. Uh -huh. eh? Once our guy you know, yeah, moves. Yeah, like that. <laughs> You understand by? My God! <laughs> My God. See her. Now today, ah! eh? you will know that I'm a very bad man. Uh, what about uh, Evelyn and uh, Priska? Bad vibe. Bad guy! Bad guy! Bad guy! Bad guy! I like this one. Hi. Polo, Polo. Hi. Polo, Polo, you follow, you follow your face, show. Hi. Hi. Better celebration, no, but I hope saying that you go pay or you go be, I don't get money. <laughs> don't have money to spend on all these kind of things. Hi, Jeremy. What are you doing here? Please, can you calm down? Let's talk. I want both of you out of my house this minute. My love, my husband, please, please just hear me out. Who did you call your husband? Who? Jeremy, please, please. We are here for peace. Let's just talk. She's your wife, no matter what it is. Do I expect it to say something otherwise? After a both of you are best of same feather that flock together. Excuse me? I said both of you are best of same feather that flock together. I want both of you to get out of my house this minute. No! Jeremy, if not for one thing, I won't take that. Please, we are here for peace. Pico. I will ask you for the last time. What are you doing in my house? Jeremy, Jeremy, please, I beg you. I beg you, please. I, I, I know how you feel, and I know that anyone in your position will feel the same, but please, calm down. My love, please, it's me. It's me, please. Just let me explain. I do not need any explanation from you because I know what I saw. Get out of my house now. Please, please, my love, please. Both of you should leave my house this minute. I am not going anywhere until you listen to me, please. I beg you. Please, please. please. Wait for me, I'm coming. Jeremy, please. Please. Oh. Oh. I'm please. finished. Oh. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. Are you sure 
your blood blocks. Hmm. My God cannot block me. I mean, we're not quarreling, so why would he block me? Maybe he has gotten what he wanted. No, Paul is not that kind of a man. Hmm. And all of a sudden, you can't reach him on all social media platforms where you've been communicating with him. Babes, I don't know, maybe he lost his phone or something else. <laughs> he lost his phone or something else. Really? <sighs> Babes, please, just stop this topic. Please, just end it. Don't judge him. You, you never can tell. Maybe something bad has happened to him. Something that has happened. I better go. Something that has happened to me. Lara. Lara. You know you are the reason I am taking this insult. I will never take it from anyone. And you know it. Annie. I am the bone of contention here. So why are you talking about yourself? Did you hear what your husband called us? Birds of same feather. I am so angry. You know I'm not like that. I am not. So, what are you insinuating? Lara, based on what you did, he's possibly feeling that I will do the same. Ah, you and I know I will never cheat on my husband. Never. Never. Oh, Annie, please. Don't even open that discussion with me because you know that I know you in and out. Yes, I know you have so many boyfriends more than anyone I know. So please, you don't even have the moral edge to talk to me like that. So stop it. Lara, <laughs> did you hear what you call them? Boyfriends. They are not my husband. And if paraventure I get married, I will never read my lips, cheat on my husband. Can you please just take me out of here? I'm losing my head. Before I say something that I will regret. Please, I will do just that. But can I tell you the truth? What truth is that? Good. I think you need to travel to the village and trace the root of your problem. Mm. You need to. How do you mean? My darling, look at the man you married and the fool you were dying for. <laughs> my dear, there's no comparison. It means there is a problem and you need to trace it from the roots. <sighs> you know, somehow I think you were right. I am all. <sighs> please, can you just just take me out of here, please? Please. Let's go. Just Do you always do this? Uh, what did I do? You know, coming into the kitchen, talking to the wife as she cooks is something most men will never do. But you do it often and it's... Now I should tell you that I'm different from every other man. You see, I am me and your happiness. Is my project. Go ahead, do what you're doing. I am here observing the angel that I married. My love. My love. You are the exact man I prayed for. Honestly, you are an answered prayer, and I will forever love you. Saying it 
is actually different from doing it. How do you mean? The vow we made before the people is entirely different from the vow we can make to ourselves here. I feel you should make a vow to me. Make a vow to you? Yeah. What vow? I will never, never, ever betray our love, no matter the temptation. I will never, ever, look at any other woman in a way that you'll be offended or break your heart. I want you to make this vow to me. Oh, come on, my love. You know me. And you know I love you so, so much. I vow on the purity of my soul that you are the man. And you will always be the man. <sighs> She violated everything and killed me from the soul. I'm very fine, Oga Pilot. How about you, Oga Pilot? That's good. That's very good. So now that I have called you, I have fulfilled my promise. I have called you. Uh, what are you going to give to me? Hogar Pilot, what can I possibly give you that will match up your standard? Ah, uh, don't even say that. Listen, as long as it's coming from you, it's, it's fine. Uh, what can you give? Okay. Mention what you want and if I can afford it, I'll give it, sir. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. How about you come by my place this weekend? Come see me. What? You said that whatever it is that I ask, you do. Right? So weekend. Hello, are you there? I will try, sir. I'll try. It's not a promise. Okay, I'll come. Thank you. Uh, bye. And how is the best mom in the world doing today? How are you, son? I'm okay, mom. Just um, checking to see how you're firing. I'm good. I'm just checking up on you. And also to remind you of the promise you made to me. I did not forget, mom. I, I, I did not forget. I'll keep my promise. Better. Because if you don't, I will make a decision on your behalf. And you will say no to me this time. Relax, mom. You won't get to that point. Then do the need for. <laughs> this woman. 
This will mine. Uh. Who is there? It's me, Mama. Hold on, I'm coming. down your voice eh? Paul is not around. What He's do you mean I should bring down my voice? This is Paul's house and I want to see Paul now. Andy! Sir! Open that gate. Sir, don't worry, I'm thinking of it. I'm in charge! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How can I help you? My name is Ijoma. I know you might not remember me. But I know you. You are Jeremy. And I'm, and I'm here to see you. Come in. If I repeat myself, Andy, you lose your job. Well done, sir. I am a very private person. But it is not on any record that I'm involved in any political outing. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but I never said I'm here for anything politics. So what do you want from me? I wanted you to do me a favor by talking to someone on my behalf. But at the look of things, you don't seem to be happy. Please, can you share with me what the problem is? Don't, don't worry, I am 
I'm fine. I'm fine. Just tell me who you want me to talk to. I, I will do that for you. It is someone very close to you. But with the look of things, with your current mood, you can't. I can't. Just... No, you can't. Tell me, I... I, I... Is this poison? Are you trying to commit suicide? Who is she? I don't know. She does bad into this place. She don't know me. Oga, see, I don't know who you are. But this minute, I want to see Paul, my boyfriend. I know he's in there. Please, you people should go and call him for me. I want to see him. Uh, your Paul's... Get me Paul. Go and call Paul! Sir, Paul is not around. He went to the market to buy food stuffs. Oh, yes, I remember I sent him out. That's yes. true. Yes, sir. Uh, young lady. You mean this is not Paul's house? <laughs> um, this is my house. Um, Paul works for me. Is there a problem? Okay. Paul lied to me. Paul deceived me that he is the owner of this house. And this fool slept with my girlfriend. Um, I, that, that's enough. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Um, calm down. I think I have an idea, but, but you know what? I'll ask that you leave for now. I'll handle this. Okay. I, I think I know what just happened, but I'll take care of it. Please. I promise you. Please. Thank you, sir. Sir, please, can I go and lock the gate? Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Remember, until Paul returns. This witch, this witch, this witch. I don't know. Paul has killed me. I don't know that this girl is a witch. This morning, this morning, I, oh God, I, I. What happened? Come on, talk to me. Why do you want to take your life? She cheated on me. But is it not enough for you to want to kill yourself? I love her. I love her so much. I did everything humanly possible to, to make her happy. But she ended up cheating on me. Even at that, it's still not enough reason for you to want to kill yourself. There's a reason for everything. What could be her reason? Tell me, what could be her reason? That I do not know. But you have to let it slide like it never happened. Cheer up and move on with your life. It will be so difficult for me to do. Very, very difficult. It can be easy. I understand. But your life is more important now than any other thing. Please. So I travel out of the country to work. I travel out of this country to work. And you too, turn my house. To a playground for your rendezvous, the two of you bring women into my house. You bring your friends to this house to come party here. Are you out of your minds? Huh? We are sorry. Please, sorry. Please forgive us.
to not happen again. Do I not treat you too right? I, I, I love the both of you. Like my own blood. I treat you too. Like we're siblings. And I travel out to work and you do this. And hear me and hear me now. The next time this happens. You not only lose your job, but I have the both of you reprimanded in the police custody before I throw you out. So this is not my temptation. Sorry, sir. What is wrong with both of you? Out! Honestly, oh. I am glad that you're laughing now. I'm not just laughing, but I'm happy. Mm. Got see of you. That's, Thank you very much. That's really nice. I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So I'll have to be on my way now. Oh, come on, Eddie, please. Hold on. What? Don't go. Huh? Don't go. <laughs> but why? You know that's impossible. I have to leave. I've got things to do. Why not stay till tomorrow? No, I can't. If you leave me right now, start thinking again. I may even go back thinking of committing suicide again. Please, stay with me. I, I know it's a difficult demand that I'm making, but just do it for me, please. Please, please don't ever say that again. Don't ever talk about suicide. Okay, fine. I, I'm going to stay with you today, but tomorrow morning, I'll leave. Thank you for staying today. Don't worry about tomorrow, okay? Let me make food for you to eat. I'll be so glad watching you make it. I Let's, go. Want to eat. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Uh, Let's go. All right. Ah. Okay, no. After you. All right. After you. All right. Please come. Come, come, come. come. Ah, please sit. <laughs> Look up, pilot. Your house is fine. Thank you, boss. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome to my place. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Your place is very fine. Ah, thank you. I just try. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what do I offer you? Nothing, sir. Ah, no, don't do that, please. It's your first time here. Uh, you should take something, please. Please, please. Okay, anything soft. Anything soft you'll get. Huh? Just relax. Thank you, sir. Okay? Relax. Huh? Yeah. Polo. Hmm? Who is that baby? That girl. That girl that just came in with her. Do I need to tell you that she's the new cook? Which new cook? Huh? From the way I'm seeing that girl, that girl is not any new cook. Didn't you see the way our guy led her into the house? Ha! She's not a cook. I'm telling you. So what are you insinuating? From the way I'm seeing them, eh? That girl is our guy's new babe. Eh? Mm -hmm. Andy, I come out of here. Why? I did not see I did not see anything. Are you okay? I'm not sure you're okay. You're okay? I'm fine. Oh, our well, girl will never have anything to do with such local girl. So don't even say that again. Yes, you're sir. Calling this guy local girl. Yes, sir. Uh, local girl. Uh-huh. So, in your mind now, Oga, 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 Oga have choice when it comes to guests. Yeah? Oga that used to bring old cargoes, old mother, look at her pass here. And I, I, I say Oga has choice. Which, which choice is that? It's like you are he's, he's like you are already iron dagger. Uh -huh. See, let me tell you, let me just warn you. Eh? Small time now, you tell me if I mess up, if I mess up, I will carry up. Remove your eyes from this one. Remove your eyes. You have already called that local girl. Just remove your eyes from this one. I know why I'm telling you. you like just remove it? your eyes. You like her? What you do you like her? What do you like her? No, 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 no. I know, I know I'm saying it too. Small time now, you can't smoke that thing that you used to smoke. If you smoke now, you can't tell me eh, if I mess up. 
Eh, I, 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 I will jump in. Oh, your mind don't there. I don't tell you. Don't come <laughs> your eye. Don't, don't tell me if a guy will fuck up now. Jump in. If you jump in, I'll bring you out. Um, Juliet. Sir. I invited you here because I want to discuss something very important with you. I'm listening, sir. I don't even know how to begin. It's heavy. Um, but however, I'll find a way to get through it. It's, it's something really, really important to me. You know, uh, a strong decision that I have made. Ah. Hoga Pilot. Yes. <laughs> Please, feel free and talk to me. Trust me, I'll understand. You will? How would you feel if I tell you that I don't ever want to get married? But why? Do you have hatred for women or something? Oh, no, 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 no. Not at all. I, as a matter of fact, I love women. I, I appreciate women. I, I work very well with women. You know, every lady who's, who's had to work with me over the years, you know, you know, they have glorious things to, to, to say about me. Uh, it's just that when it comes to partnership, I, I have decided that I don't want a wife. <clears throat> well, my uncle once said the same thing. So, it's not new to me. Okay. Up until he met with his old-time schoolmates, and he's presently married with her. So it's <laughs> yeah, there's a difference here. <laughs> I, I I don't belong belong to the same school with your uncle, so I have no former schoolmate to <laughs> to run into and reconnect. I I am never going to get married, Juliette, and I'm serious about it. I just want a decent lady. to, you know, to carry my, my babies, you know, like, <clears throat> get into some kind of contract with a decent lady who would carry my babies, you know, give back to them and, you know, and I pay her off and then she leaves. <clears throat> if I got you right, you're looking for someone you would pay to do this. Yes, handsomely. 10 million naira per child. That'll be 20. I'm looking at a boy and a girl. I promise, I promise to, to offer best medical attention. I would, I'll take care, I would, I would cater, I would, I would, I would make it easy. Gillette, please. This is the reason I have called you here. Is this something that you feel you can do? I will do it. What? Oh my goodness. Who? Ha! <laughs> you have made my day. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm on condition. Okay, so talk to me. What would that be? that I don't get to be paid for this. Say that again? Yes, you heard me. I'll do this only on the condition that you don't pay me. Why? Look, you consider me decent enough to carry your children in my room. And that's a huge stuff for me already. Really, I'll do it. Where are you from? I am not going to call you names. But judging from what my father told me long before he died, I think I want to say this to you. What is it? Only fools take their lives. 
That was exactly what my father said. I know you were going to use this against me someday. But you see, a lot of things was going wrong in my life that time. No, you're wrong. I'm not that kind of person. I swear on my life that I would never use your past against you. Never will I. I am happy you came in the time you did, honestly. It's the Lord's doing. And I also believe that you have overcome all suicidal thoughts. I am a brand new person inspired to face challenges of life and win. If you ask me, I would say that you need your wife to face those challenges and win. So, what efforts are you making to reunite with her? On the contrary, I have already concluded my presentation in the court. The evidence I have is worthy enough for the court to dissolve the marriage. Are you, are you trying to say that you, you will not forgive her? The issue of forgiveness does not even arise. The New Testament said that marriage can only be dissolved on the ground of infidelity. Ijoma, I caught her red-handed. And each time I try to get it out of my mind, the picture keeps bringing itself. It, it, it's not easy. I know. Trust me. I understand how you feel right now. Trust me. I understand how you feel right now. But you have to calm down. Okay? It's not easy, but you have to put yourself together. I will keep praying for you. Thank you. And I pray that God gives you the strength and of course a chance to be happy again. Okay? Thank you. So can we talk about your friend now? No. Okay? What about him? <laughs> you know, I... I wasn't expecting you to say yes, you know, I, I, was, I was thinking you'd say, oh no, because I understand, I understand this carries a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. uh? Well, you're right. That's what is expected of every normal girl, to say no. But come to think about it. Yes. If I say no and then you beg me, and I later turn around and do it, what difference would it make saying no in the first instance? such maturity I, <laughs> well most women will tell you that they are just being women you know <laughs> i call it pretense and not being a woman oh wow you are deep <laughs> you know looking at you from afar one would not be able to tell that you're this intelligent and deep but i'm impressed really I'm just being me. But on the other hand, I really like you, the pilot. And it would be a thing of unspeakable joy to get you carry your children in my womb. You have to stop talking now, eh? Before you get me emotional, you have to stop. But thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to have to change into something else and take you to my mother so that I can introduce you. To her and then we sign the necessary documents and then you know, we take it from there right that's fine no problem sir there's no time yeah, come on drink up thank you sir yeah. uh mom um you remember that we talked and i told you but I'll find her someday. And when I do, I'll come present her to you. I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Who are you presenting to me? Aha. Uh -huh. Right here. Come on, say hello to my mom. Good evening, mom. <laughs> her name is Juliet, mom. Um, the one that I have chosen to carry my my children. Mom. This thing. This thing. 
first thing to bear my grandkids. Oh, you know, son, you're joking. <laughs> Mom. 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 I'm not joking, I'm serious. I'm not here so that you can influence my decision. No, I am here because I promised you that I will keep you posted as regards all that is going on in my life. That's why I'm here. Stop embarrassing my guest. Be a more teacher. Listen to me. I don't care what he might have told you. You're hearing from me now. You don't fit in to my family standard. Do you get me? You don't fit in! I'm not going to let you make this young lady feel bad. No. It is not in your place to choose for me. It's my right to choose. I have made my decision, mother. She is the one. Mom, what interests you to know that she has accepted my conditions. You know what I'm talking about and everything is sealed. No, it's not sealed. Son, nothing is sealed. I am your mother and I will make you understand you can do this without my consent. You can't! You know what? Have a good day, mother. What's wrong with him? I brought classy ladies for him. He turned them down. He rejected them all. And now he's here with this, with this nonentity. Oh, no, it's, it's not possible. No, no, it's not happening. Are you okay? Your mother does not like me. Yeah, but it's me you're dealing with. But she still has to give her blessings. Well, not exactly in this case. Uh, if we're getting married, we would be needing her blessings, but... In this case, it's, it's this contract agreement that we need to honor. I was hoping that we'd sign this, you know, in her presence, but then again, what happened? Um, so I would like for you to yeah, read it and... Where do I sign? Oh no, Juliet, you need to read it, okay, and understand the terms. You have explained it before, which is that I bear you children, a boy and a girl. Yeah. After which I go my way never to come back for any reason whatsoever. I got you. Uh, you didn't add the part where I said that I'll pay 10 million naira for each child. So that brings it to 20 million for both kids. I am not interested in your money, Oga Pilot. Like I told you before, I like you and, you and that's the only reason I'm doing this. Not for your money. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, but um, um, you'd be staying at my place, um, you know, until the contract is done. No problem, sir. Come on now, cheer up, I'm here. Yeah? Like I said, it's me you're dealing with, not my mother. I got you covered. I hope you enjoyed your food. Ah, it was nice. Ah, you were a good cook, I must say. I enjoyed myself. Thank you. Uh, I have to go now. Okay. Oh, would you like to walk me to the car? Sure, why not? Sure. <laughs> All right, let's go. After you go. <laughs> What is that your name again? My, my, my name is Juliet Ma. 
I thought I told you that you do not fit into our family standard. And you still followed my son home. I I'm sorry, Ma, but Oga Pilot insisted I stay back. Oh, really? You see that Oga Pilot? He's not just my son. My only son. If you know what is good for you, go in there, pick everything, whatever that belongs to you, and leave this place now. If I slap you, if I slap you, you will forget your name. Get out from my sight. Come on, teacher. Nonsense. And don't waste my time. Get out. I still can't believe that you descended so low. For a roadside fruit seller. Life. <laughs> yeah, life. You know, what um, moves man A in a woman would not necessarily be the same thing that moves man B in a woman. I am moved by this girl for a lot of good reasons. And that is why I have settled for her. There must be a reason. There must be something spectacular about this girl. Would you mind to share with your friend? Oh, well, um, it's not far-fetched. Like I said, I like her. She's, um, she's natural. Yeah, she's natural. Um, she comes across as someone that comes from a home. Yeah. <laughs> She, she has respect, which is far-fetched in the times that we're living, you know. Um, she's also not the internet type. She's not all over the place. And she's not a slay queen. Uh -huh. If you know where I'm going with that. So. I know, I know. <laughs> I like that. Obviously, she's, um, she's exactly what you want in a woman. Of course, and more. If she's exactly what you want in a woman, why not just... Go straight and get married to her. Why wanting to engage her into a contract marriage? And there again, you and I are confronted with that individual difference. Now listen, the reason you would want to keep a woman be totally different from why I would want to keep a woman. But you said you don't want to keep any woman as a wife. Yes. A decision that I feel that people around me must respect. You have a problem with it. I like the girl. She's nice enough, you know, and she looks cool-headed enough to give me the number of kids that I want, and I'm cool with that. How fragile do they need for? What's the need for? Marry her officially. Uh, Jeremy, must I get married? It's a necessity. Oh, Jay, I beg. Hmm? Let me drink. What did you say? Your mom came here and ordered her to, to leave. So, she has gone. What, my mother came here? Yes. Ordered her to leave and you, did, you, you, didn't, you didn't bother to call me? Hey, so I swear to God. I was calling your number, I keep calling your mother. Auntie, stop! You started to call me and it wasn't connecting. Get the gate! Yes, sir.
Smart now, this man for don't nod me for head. Yes, um, I'm looking for what? Good afternoon, sir. Juliet, is she here? It's Juliet, um, Juliet, um, Juliet. Juliet, for some days now, she has not gone to the shop. Oh. She hasn't been here? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you want to buy now? I can sell for you. Uh, is, it, is it orange? Do you have enough orange today? Oh? You know you like apple. I got pilots. What? what? You, you mean she has not been here? No, sir. What, what, do you have an idea where she can be? Like when she does not come here, where, where does she go? You have an idea? I don't know, sir. I don't know. You don't hey, know? I can, I can say to you now, I'm here. Huh? I've not seen her for some days. It's so. okay, it's okay. Hey! I can say for you. for you again. looking for you. I know, and that's why I came back. Can I go in? Yes, wait, you go in, but let me just call Oga and tell him that you are here. That won't be necessary. When he comes back, he will see me. Where is your bag? It's a long story. You won't understand. Ha! One guy called Oga, Oga got a bunch of Oga has entered this one. No going back. Oh. Jay, I am beyond upset right now. I feel like doing something crazy. Can't no, how can she do that to her? She's supposed to call at least to tell you what happened. What you, calm down. You won't blame her now, would you? The little girl is probably traumatized. We'll find her. How? Where do we begin to search for her? Somehow, somewhere, we will look for Some... her. We will see her. Uh, my dear. Yes, dear. Your food is ready. It's okay. I am coming. All right. Yeah. That's that's Ijoma. Yeah, yeah. But same Ijoma that you fired. Same Ijoma doesn't fit into what you want in a woman. No, 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 no. That, the same girl who worked in my house. Oh, yeah, she's the one. What what what's she doing here? It's it, it's a long story. It's a long story, bro. But it's not something I will not tell you. But first, you have to go home and see your mother. Uh, we'll talk about this later. Uh, on a lighter note, I she. She lives here for now. And um, Ijoma is everything that Lara was not. Oh. Yeah. Is that so? Yeah, sure. You have to go and see your mother now. Ah, okay? Yeah. I think I understand what you mean. Oh, of course. Congrats, man. Thank you. Uh, we'll talk about this one. I'll see you. All right. I am going to be emphatic in addressing this issue. You have nothing to do with that classless thing. Uh, 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 brother. I take exception to that, mother. I'm not going to stand here and have you describe my choice with such demeaning words. Don't do it, mom. You're not going to shut me because I've not even started. There is nothing you. to start, mother. This has nothing to do with you. This has everything to do with me, me, my life. It's about my life. I have made a choice, mother, that everyone would have to go with. I have made my choice. There is nothing anybody can do about it. Oh, son, you know me very well. There's no need battling words with you. Mm. 
But now let me ask you. Why are you doing this? I, no, I, I need to know, why are you doing this? Because I want the best for you. you and the best you shall get. <laughs> you want the best for me? Oh yes, I want the best for you. Like this? Mother, I ask you. Like this? Mother, you are forcing me very hard to take the decision to stop coming here to see you. You need to stop. If I love you, Mom, no matter what you do to me, no matter how hard you push me, I'll never grow cold towards you because you are my mother. And I love you like I love myself. But you need to stop. You are crossing the line, Mom. Good night. Why is he so stubborn? Why? Why is he so stubborn? More stubborn than his father. Uh! I have to be on my way now. No. Can I have a moment with you? Why not? Ijoma, do you believe in coincidence? I'll first need to understand the whole ideology of coincidence in line with what you have in mind before I would say I believe or not. Your coming here that afternoon wasn't a coincidence. It was ordained by God. And I believe we should make good use of it. I, I still do not understand what you're saying. I'm confused. Why would you not want to be the woman of this house? What? I am serious. Just say yes and I'll make you my wife. But you know that won't be possible. Why? Until your marriage with Lara is fully dissolved by the law court. And the bride price you paid on her head returned. Without that I can't say yes. Because by the law and the tradition, you both are still married. I told you last time that I've completed my presentation in the court. My darling, I am proposing to you because that marriage has been dissolved. I want to start a brand new life and I want to start it with you. Say yes and I'll make you happy forever. Are you crying? Huh? I have looked everywhere for you. I know. And that's why I came back. Stop crying. Huh? I'm here now. It's okay. It's, it's okay. 
What's going on? I'm, I'm back. What happened? It's a long story. Okay, I, I have all the time. I'm back. All right, uh, but first things first, I, I'll have to move you into my room. That way you're, you're safer there and that's where you'll be to the end of the contract. I, I'm really sorry about what happened. Okay, stop now. Stop crying. Eh? Don't cry, I'm here. Eh? It's fine. Eh? Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Sorry. Come on, now go ahead. Hmm? Ah, no, 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 no. You missed it. You cannot hold the knife, the spoon, and the fork at the same time. Okay? So this is what is going to happen. You hold the knife on your right hand. Let's assume you want to cut the meat. Now, watch me. So the knife on your right hand. Okay, so this has more strength, this has more grip. So you use this to hold it down. Your left to hold it down and then you, this has more grip so you cut with this. Watch me, watch. So when you cut into smaller sizes, and then you can pick with the left and it goes this way now that's step one okay let's try it you pin it down then you cut with the right you cut with the right you have to cut you have to cut on some you know the soft part hold on don't worry i'm here i'll teach you Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. No, not that way. <laughs> hold, hold this way, just hold. Okay. <laughs> okay, come on, just hold this way. Mm -hmm. And then you can, you can just cut. Okay. okay. You can cut. Okay, this one is a bit tough, so look for an easier. And then you cut this way. Okay. So I'm going to cut out a big chunk for you so that you can practice with a smaller, a smaller chunk. Okay, so now this is a smaller chunk. So you, you pin this down this way and you cut this way and then you can pick this way. So let me see you try. So cut this piece, let's see. Yeah, so you cut that into two. Apply a bit of pressure now, so you can cut. Keep going. Then you pickle your left into your mouth. Okay. Nice, but you don't have to hold this way. Like you pick. Yeah? Mm. You pick and you go. So there's a certain finesse mm. to it. Okay. You don't dig and go. Nah. <laughs> so you pick and you go. There's a little finesse to it. Okay? Come on, awesome. keep practicing you. You got it. Huh? <laughs> right. Come on, let's go. Good. Now that's not too bad. Let's see Boko. Right. Okay, while I pick mine. Mm -hmm. This is a bit heavy though, but I can handle it. <laughs> Andy, Sorry. this is a specific instruction. On no account must my mother be allowed into this premises. If that happens, if that happens, you are going to lose your job. Am I clear? Uh, yes, sir, but sir, if I heard you clearly, did you say I should not open the gates for your mother? I gave an instruction, Andy. You flouted, you're fired. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get the gate. Thank you, sir.
you were not expecting the proposal the other day. I know why. It came as a surprise to you. And now you slept over it. What are you going to tell me? When I made up my mind to visit you on that day, it was for you to help reconcile your friend and I. Without knowing that God was actually using me to save a situation. And now God has used you to save the situation. Why not settle in and own it? I'm thinking about a lot of things. A lot of things. Things like... Things like what people will say. For instance, your friend and I, you know what happened between us. How would you feel if eventually I become your wife? He has already congratulated us. How possible is that? But I, I haven't even said yes to you yet. You remember the last time you walked in here and you said food was ready. He saw and understood the chemistry between us. On that very day, he congratulated us. Vijoma. Say yes to me and make me the happiest man on earth. The truth is that you have proven to be a special breed of man. My coming to your house the other day wasn't ordinary. It was already ordained by God. I want to tell you that I have officially accepted to marry you. <sighs> and I'm saying this from the deepest part of my heart. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. This is a second chance for me. And I know the glory of the new beginning in me with you in my life will supersede whatever I cherished in the former. Ijoma, I asked you again for the last time to you marry me. I promise to make you the happiest woman on earth. I will marry you. Oh. Oh, this is so fine. Very happy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> For me. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Oga Pilot. Uh, 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 come, come, come. One more thing. Come, 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 come. Listen. No, no, no. Stand. You know what? Sit here. Sit here. Come. Sit. Listen. Huh? The days of Oga Pilot are over. You can, you can give me a pet name. You know, something nice that you'd like to address me by, like baby. Yeah. Sweetheart, <laughs> my darling. <laughs> Look at her. Okay, uh, stop being official with me. Come on, I'm trying to make you one and the same with me. Okay. Oh. Okay, my darling. Okay, my darling. How sweet. That's beautiful. Say it one more time, baby. <laughs> I'm waiting. Okay, my darling. Hmm. Sounds good to you, huh? You know what, come on. 
I just want you to know that I got those things for you. You're so you're happy and I'm trying to make you, you know, feel comfortable and free here with me. Come on, pick a few and let, let's change and see what, what we have. Thank you. Yes, and I'd, I'd like to, to see you get into them and see how it fits. Okay, let me go. Let me go try this. <laughs> make it quick. I'd like to see the transformed you. of this what's going on here what's this Ma, I actually opened the gate for you because you parked your car outside yes I want us to discuss in here to save you the embarrassment what are you saying that girl in there is my girl's happiness he values her so much. He said I should not open the gate for you. You should not open the gate for me. Okay, Andy. Trust me for once. Allow me in. I will not make trouble. Just trust me. Ma. I can't believe you. I can't believe you at all. What if you go inside that, that, that house and something goes wrong? I'll lose my job. No, I can't. Andy, trust me. Just trust me. Nothing will go wrong. I promise you nothing will go wrong. You won't lose your job. Let me see who my son values the most. It's just sounding so easy in your mouth. You don't even know what is happening here. Hi. How do I believe you now? Hi. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. Come, please come. I know you're scared. Please come, come. I come in peace. I know you're scared. Come, please. I'm sorry. I apologize to you for the harsh words I've been using on you. Please, I am sorry. I take back those words. I'm sorry, please. Thank you, Ma. That's so heartwarming. Thank you. So how are you? I'm fine, Mom. Ma, your son already tore the contract papers and he has decided to make me his wife. Are you serious? Yes, Mom. Oh, yes, Mom. I am serious. <laughs> we are serious, Mom. Um, this young lady here has proven to be just the kind of woman that I need. As I speak to you, mother, she's carrying. Or should I say that we are pregnant? <laughs> she's carrying my child, she's mother. Up. And um, one more thing. Given the qualities that she has exhibited, uh, it's only fitting that I make her my wife. Oh my God! So I present to you your. Oh, please come, 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 get Don't up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, no, no. Thank you. Congratulations, son. Thank, Thank you. Hey! Hey! I know me tolerate oh. Anybody may want to try to play with my heart. I know me tolerate oh. I don't be too mad. I know me tolerate oh. Anybody may want to try to play with my heart. I know me tolerate oh. I don't be too mad. 
get bad temper, no be jojo. I know ready for the popo. Waiting a day, I know na the coco. That's my life. Me, I can't stand the fact that somebody want to play with my heart. Oh, me, I know if stand it. Somebody messing with my mind. Oh, if I love you, girl, I think you die. Me, I don't love you well, my heart. If you ever ever play with me, girl, I go keep messing. If I love you, girl, I think you die. Me, I don't love you well, my heart. If you ever ever play with me, girl, I know you tolerate. Oh. Anybody who won't try to play with my heart, I know you tolerate. Oh. I don't be too mad. I know you tolerate. Oh. Anybody who won't try to play with my heart, I know you tolerate. Oh. I don't be too mad. Get bad temper, no be jojo. I know ready for the popo. Waiting a day, I know na the coco. That's my life. Me, I can't stand the fact that somebody want to play with my heart. Oh, me, I know if it's stand it. Somebody messing with my mind. Oh, if I love you, girl, I think you die. Me, I don't love you well, my heart. If you ever ever play with me, girl, I go keep messing. If I love you, girl, I think you die. Me, I don't love you well, my heart. If you ever ever play with me, girl, I know you tolerate. Oh, anybody who won't try to play with my heart, I know you tolerate. Oh, I know you won't mad. Oh, I know you tolerate. Oh, anybody who won't try to play with my heart, I know you tolerate. Oh, I know you won't.